And welcome back to Scav Talk, everyone. Today's episode, we are joined by the infamous G0AT Goat himself. Goat, how are you doing today, man? How's your week been? I'm doing good. This is just a normal week. Um, right. Just a very normal week. Uh, normal amount of emails. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, my view count was a pretty normal week. Um, so just normal, you know? <laughs> I'm hoping it goes back to normal pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's oh, crazy. It's, it, is, I, it is pretty yeah. nuts. It is I, pretty I, nuts. I, it's pretty wild. <laughs> I just want to say, dude, congrats on getting... It's over a million views, right? Your video? Yeah, it was at 1.3, 1.4 or something. And then also something to, th to consider, there's been so many reacts that are like significant reacts. Like last right. night during the pod, Asmongold was watching it. Mm -hmm. XQC, I think, was a few days before. XQC alone is accounting for like almost three or 400,000 views at this point because he had, mm. he gets about a million views a day on his stream and there was something like 60 to 150,000 people who probably watched it live and maybe some people watched the VOD too and then you've got his React channel which is another quarter mil or whatever it is. It's just, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, and so you add all that up, I mean, who knows? And, and um, it's nuts. It, it, it definitely emotionally hit people, I think. Mm -hmm. is the only way i can explain it plus you got the articles with the embedded feed in there as well the video which is like also crazy to think that you know this got covered in like gaming yeah. gaming news related sites um i yeah just con like congrats on you know that achievement i think very i don't think i'm pretty sure giga can't say that he's got a million views on the video i know like working with airwing so. we don't have that you know i feel like you are in the upper you know one percenters if you love people on youtube that can actually say that so just hats off to you for that yeah I, I also think um like i've had other like videos in other um channels get over a million views and mm -hmm. i had i've had I, like my, my my most viral video so far still is a reaction or it, it is a video back in like way back in like 2006, seven or eight or something where I put together a Miss Teen South Carolina um, viral video in combination with the Billy Madison ending. And in Billy Madison, he, he does, he's on the game show and he does this whole speech where he's like talking down to them how, you know, you guys are so dumb or something. Like everyone's dumber for watching this. He has some, some whatever. And it's, and it, I, I montaged, I edited it together right at the end of the, of the Miss Teen South Carolina viral thing where she uh, has this flub in front of like the national audience. And I put those together and I did it really quick mm -hmm. and it got a ton of views. And the difference is, is like this video is like people are writing comments and they are mad and they are happy and they're angry and they have all these emotions and right. they are like, it's it's affecting a lot of people i think is is the big difference with this one um and i just i don't think this will ever happen again in my life in this way i still am just in a weird like funk not really mm -hmm. i don't think i've processed everything yet but it's it's truly crazy i can only imagine i can only imagine yeah no it's a, it's a it's a huge it's a huge achievement to have, like delivered something of this scale. I just I just went to go and check because I was actually interested because I didn't actually know the number. I think my the highest view video is like 370k or something. It's like from a million years ago. It's like it's it's so weird how YouTube works. It's like one of the videos that I don't really think is was even that good. And it's like the number one on my channel from like ages ago. And now like I had like the crappy microphone before I bought this one and all sorts. Like it's just it's just nuts. But um dude it's it's insane. It's actually insane. It you know was really funny because like you were on Scuff Talk not that long ago. <clears throat> And when you came on, like the very first thing that I said last time was just like, I'm amazed that some of your videos don't get more viewership. Like you just the way that you put stuff together is insane. And, uh, you know, here we are. Yeah, I, I don't know when it was. Well, like six weeks ago or something, maybe even like two months. It wasn't even that long ago. Maybe it was I don't even think it was that, that long ago. And it was like a month. I think Shudaville left a comment that like, oh, I think he's going to be kind of big this next year or yeah. this, this year or something, you know. And I was like, oh, that's nice. You know, like, you know, you just, <laughs> oh, thanks, you know, because. Uh, it's like when your mom says you're, uh, you know, you're great. You can do anything. You're like, oh, thanks, mom. You know, <laughs> I mean, I, I truly believe he believes it. But, you know, you know, you, you, yeah, I that's how mean, I right. interpret it. It's like, oh, right. OK, great. Like, you know, whatever, you know. So it's kind of yeah, funny. Exactly. Exactly. And so I don't know. It's, it's because partly because of that. Um, I, I already had like a, I think maybe some people were sort of 
seeing you for the first time because i know when we spoke last time you said that your your long form hadn't really caught on that much but you're doing pretty well on shorts and stuff so you've got like that specific audience um but that doesn't necessarily feed into the content creator space even if you've got a lot of viewership from you know that the general public you don't necessarily you're not necessarily like producing blockbuster individual videos like a veritas for example that like all the content creators would watch and then know you from that so i think maybe a lot of people were sort of um experiencing you for the first time maybe um despite the fact that you know, me, me and church are already aware of you um i think i mean a lot of a lot of creators will will have cursed you for one thing alone even if they stand with you um, on this whole thing which is every stream every time you try to do anything related to tarkov is just like what's your take what's your take what's your take on the video what's your take on what's the even, me, even i succumb to this right and um I, you know, I have I have a relatively small viewership on Twitch, and it, even I was just like, you know, people that demand they demand a, a, a viewpoint, a stance. You know, where, where do you draw the line? Like, what do you think about it? Um, so, I mean, I mean, yeah, just I guess to get that out of the way right at the beginning. I mean, as I said to everyone on my stream, I thought the video was basically the highest quality video of its type um, that I've seen be be done. I don't actually know. Apparently, there have been some other videos in the past like this, but they got DMCA'd. So. I've not seen them and I don't know what they were like. So maybe they were good as well. Maybe they were good. But um, I, I, I thought it was very, very good. Um, it was super well put together. The video is, is, is it's, in, it's very engaged. I was going to say yeah. entertaining, but that's kind of the wrong word. It's like, it's extremely engaging in the way that I know you can do, which is why I said that comment at the beginning when you came on last time, um, which is partly why it's done so well. Because uh, if it was, you know, some sort of slap together thing by somebody else with text overlays and terrible mic, it wouldn't have, but they probably would just gotten banned and that would have been it. No one would have spoken any about it ever again. Sure. Um, and I think it's way more, way, way, way more credible than any of the interview with a cheetah type videos, right? Because those those interviews broadly come down to trust me, bro, I have hacks, so you know, I know. And then they and throw I'm out biased. some kind of a number. And I'm biased. And I have a you know, either I have a vested interest in telling people that, you know, there's a bit a billion cheaters out there and stuff. So you like you can't trust the number. And a lot of the time these guys are just like hack users or cheats users like they don't really they don't really know anything they've just like picked one of these things up and they've got like some knowledge because they've used it a bit but it's like how can they actually tell um there's been a couple of those where you know there's a serious lack of sort of critical thinking in some of the analysis if i even call it that for, for some of them um and then just coming from your background of getting people who are unfairly banned because of motherboards back into the game then through to you know finding hackers and cheaters within your own community like I don't think there could have been a more perfect person to like deploy this strategy and this information into the into the community, in, in my opinion, because like you've got that credibility from the background. You're risking your entire account, your whole content creation career within the Tarkov space, at least. It's like it's not really it's not a, it's not a sensible thing for a content creator who wants to create content no. about Tarkov to do. It is not a sensible thing to do. And um, in that way, that actually delivers a lot more trust from the audience in you because it's very heartfelt um, in in that way. And it, you know, it's coming from a coming from a a good place, but taking the nuclear option. And I think that was really yeah. what gathered a lot of trust, and that people could trust what you what you showed them. Um, and then the final point, to get, I suppose, is that like, yeah, a lot of people say, as streamers in, in particular, or content creators who play the game a lot. Like we're aware of the hacking issue. We know already we didn't necessarily learn anything new from the video, but like A, the board player base doesn't really know. But also, you know, even even for those people, I think it shows that that base of what it looks like, right? Because, you know, I'm aware that the hacking situation is pretty bad in Tarkov, but broadly more from just people talking about it. I don't experience it that much. And as a solo player, it's extremely hard to actually gauge as well. Like if you're in a team, it's a bit easier. But like, how much of that is ESP? How much of that is aimbot? How much of that is fly hacking? I'm not. I'm just, I don't really know. And you've kind of got this this slice. Like it's anecdotal. It was always going to be anecdotal because you're only one person. You can only do so many raids. But it's this sort of slice view of here's all the things that you might look look at, and this is all the, the kinds of behavior that you see when people are doing these various funky things. Right. And that for me was interesting. I thought that was was good because it gave a real face to the situation as to this is what it actually means when people say the cheating situation is very, very bad. Um, and yeah, I mean, it was interesting, even in the video that you said at the beginning of it, that at the, at the start, you were like, I don't know if I'm going to find anybody <laughs> until, yeah. until the wiggle thing, right? And it's just like, you couldn't really tell. That, and it's even yeah. with the ESP info, right? Even with the ESP info. 
Yeah, I'll say just to that last point, I, uh, you know, last night we were kind of talking about statistics and everybody has grilled me on that. And I, um, one of the things I don't think people realize is in the first few days, like the first day, especially, I did not find that many cheaters. Mm. I didn't find that many cheaters. If they weren't being like super reckless, you know, I would have pegged it around 10 or 20% max. I, I really didn't find that many cheaters. And that was like almost half my rates. And when I figured out at the end of the second night, I only did this over a little over four days. It was like four days and like, like a morning. Um, and I just, you know, I just played a lot and, and, and I did quick raids, you know, mm. and, and it's really easy to do quick raids when you can see everything. And, you know, <laughs> 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 um, but I, I, uh, you know, after like the second, you know, night, I was like messaging some people and going like, man, what, like, I don't, not really seen that many, man. Like, what are you talking? He's like, you got to wiggle at him, dude. And I was like, what? Okay. I started doing that. And I was like, holy Jesus. I'm trying to not uh, get, get you guys canceled. Uh, and so <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. So I went in and talked to my wife and I had her come in and watch what she plays Tarkov and like four or five raids in a row, we found guys wiggling back at us. And I just, at that moment, it changed my entire, like, you know, mm -hmm. view on the whole thing. And then I was finding them everywhere because I had this different tactic and I was able to kind of like suss them out. And I don't think like you, you mentioned in the beginning that I put everything on the line. And I think one of the reasons it, I was the perfect person for it is because I was willing to make that risk. And I think most people weren't willing to do that. And uh, I'm going to open my garage. My kiddos are trying to get in. Um, <laughs> uh, so you know, I, I, I was able to do this big risk. And most people were not willing to do that. And I don't think most people should. And if, and if, and if you ask me, should, should I make this video? I would tell you no. <laughs> yeah, I would tell you no before I made the video. I would tell you no now. Do not make the video. It's a dumb thing to do. It's a really reckless thing to do. Um, and I don't think most people would have gotten away with it. There was a lot of luck involved and there was a lot of, you know, uh, making, making cal like calculated risk. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> yeah. Um, and then I have something else. I was taking a note while you were talking. I can't, I put unknown. I don't know what, I don't know why I said that. Um, but yeah, so just, just crazy. Just crazy. It's nuts. It is nuts. I, I, there's absolutely no way in hell that I would make that video, for example. No, there's no, <laughs> yeah. there's no chance, zero chance that I ever do that. Like, it's just, I don't know. It was very, it was very brave. It was very brave and it had to be executed really, really well. Um, which is, which is fab. I mean, I did get the sense. And I think, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I would be interested to actually hear it from you. The kind of history leading up to this was almost a little bit strange in some ways because there was lots of random things going on in the Tarkov community and it's been pretty bad relatively. Um, and like your, <laughs> your, your long form content's quite like, it was, it's been quite interesting over the past sort of like month or two. Um, and after, because... I, I think usually what happens is I end up like kind of following the people who we speak to maybe a little bit more closely, just I guess because we've spoken and whatever, I'm just like more engaged with with their content and stuff. And um, your your long form stuff got this got like quite like, dra like drama related and quite like spicy. And I was like, oh, oh, my God, it's like, is he, go is he going down this route? This is crazy. And I think it all that sort of nearly finished with the, the like, whole one peg situation and stuff. So I kind of got the impression in general and, and also this like the replay of rip kind of things which if anybody didn't know like goat said that uh you were going to quit on you were going to quit talk of completely yeah on so, may was it yeah yeah so uh, now i know why i wrote the unknown thing i'm unknown i think the one of the reasons the video works so well is because i was unknown to people and there wasn't there was a a, a disconnect between the creator and the video and that's why mm. i said in one of my videos that's why i think people refer to it as a video and not my video and I think mm. I was frustrated. I was frustrated with uh, the Tarkov community um, not doing things and, and, and acknowledging the state of where the game was. Um, and and in, in my opinion, like nobody was fighting the good fight. Like, like I don't think everybody needs to do this, right? Like not everyone needs to uh, go and make a video li li like I did. You're not a bad person. Mm. There's nothing wrong with that. And plus, you know, especially if you have like a livelihood that survives around this, you shouldn't make this video. Right. Um, but when I was looking around, like nobody was doing it. And I would say quite the opposite. There, there were people in the community and stuff that would 
um, kind of making excuses and kind of defend what was going on. And I feel like that's not good for the game. And and this is a debatable thing. And this is why I'm a little more controversial. But um, and so I made a few videos where I flat out said, you know, if they're not going to implement these changes and they're not gonna, they're not they're not going to do things that are going to better the game. Like it's not me protesting. It's me saying like I am kind of done, you know. Mm. And then I made uh, another video where I, you know, I mean, it's, it's called uh, like developer sips, you know, essentially. And I'm like, you know, if you are making excuses for the developers and you're kind of like, you know, um, simping for them, that's not good for the game. And it's not good for the community. And you need to be able to criticize things in a, you know, productive, you know, way, you, you know, you, 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 like, you don't just want to be the negative Nancy on uh, Reddit, just saying, eh, it's all dumb, dumb, stupid, you know, but you do need to like point out when I think things are, aren't being done right. And, uh, it, it, and in my opinion, you know, cheating is, is, is too common. It's too easy. And I don't think enough is being done. And yeah. that's the point. That's where I'm at now, where, uh, I think the, the, the first video was cheating is too common. Uh, I found out it was really easy. And now I want to know, is enough being done? And that's kind of where I'm at. That's the chapter I'm in right now. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I mean, um, so I think people who, um, you know, who, who were frustrated with me if I was um, making videos, calling out the company or whatever prior, they saw that. And I think right, rightfully so said, this is not going to end well. This is drama. This is not going to be productive. Um, but I'll tell you what, man, uh, the amount of stuff I've learned and the conversations I've had and shifting the conversation, uh, in the direction that, that I, I've gone now has been in, uh, insane as far as may, making changes. And mm -hmm. I think my next step is to educate people about anti-cheat measures, um, because it is a very niche development, um, industry. And I don't think it's, it's very misunderstood and I'm pretty, um, confident now that very few people have a uh intelligent position on the matter um and enough people have i've had enough interviews and discussions with people that i'm pretty sure that um the majority of, of the player base has no way to um decipher whether battle state is doing a good job or whether battle Eye is doing a good job oh yeah so, no I, yeah i agree yeah. with that yeah yeah so that's kind of where i'm at now is 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 what are they doing? Are they doing it, it, it good enough? And uh, what does that mean? What do we do then? Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. uh, I just I just secured a interview with um, the the developers at the, the Cycle Frontier. And oh, I want to talk to okay. them because uh, they had a really bad rough start with cheaters. Yeah. Um. And guess what? Guess what anti cheat they use? <laughs> battle eye. Yeah. <laughs> they use battle eye. So they've they've developed really really quickly. They've made some pivots. And they and, and they're doing a good job. And you go into their Reddit, and I posted there today, <clears throat> and and people are using words like they annihilated the cheaters. RMT does not exist in this game, and it's an elu extraction shooter. Now it's not as unforgiving as Tarkov, and there's some things, some differences, but it's a free to play game. Yeah, you, know, you, just, you, you can just mm. keep creating accounts. So something's wrong there and, and the other big thing that i realized and i've said this before but um uh valorant um you know the vanguard valorant cheats will detect escape from tarkov and get you banned from riot games <laughs> like that's messed up like <laughs> that that's messed up i had to uninstall other other games to play tarkov so i can get my cheats to work like i found that out <laughs> while i was like doing the setting everything up i'm like what i gotta uninstall valorant <laughs> I gotta like reboot my computer several times and really make make sure I'm or I'm not gonna be able to play Riot games again. Um, and then that, yeah, and then and then also we are um securing a talk with a um it's indisputably a industry leader in the anti cheat community, uh hopefully next week. Um, and I will be able to announce more details about that um next week. Uh, and that'll be with Verit I'm inviting Veritas in one peg to that conversation. So that'll be cool. Oh, cool. Um, and so I feel like, you know, at this point, you know, I'm all ears, but if you're not on board with that, I just I don't know. I don't do you like do you love the game? Do you want this to get fixed? <laughs> you know, it's kind of where I'm at. So yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess that is kind of one of my questions, you know, kind of like uh, coming back to the beginning, you know, you you basically said, you know, I wouldn't 
recommend anyone doing this video, you know, and I kind of have the same opinion. It's like, I wouldn't either <laughs> recommend anyone this video, but I'm glad you did it. <laughs> you know, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Um, but like, was this indeed the nuclear option? Like, as you said, you were doing the replay or rip thing, you know, was this just like your final video for Escape from Tarkov? And then you were on to the next, you know, whatever. I, I was willing to walk away from it forever mm -hmm. from a content. I mean, cause you have to, like they could have easily DMCA it or copyright takedown, whatever. Very early on, they could have uh, banned my main account and, uh, you know, did a copyright takedown if I tried to stream or do anything with their intellectual property. It is their game. It is their mm -hmm. game, fundamentally. Right. Um, you have to give them that. And um, if they don't like what I'm doing, they don't have to allow me to publicly, you know, bash them. They don't have to. Um, and so I knew that going in. And so I did, like, the best that I could do to get it started off in the best way. And I got extremely lucky. Uh, you know, I, I hedged my bets and I did certain things that were really smart. And I also got really lucky. Um, it was a happy accident that Linus talked about the video before it was right. released on accident. <laughs> and you can see it in the clip. You know, he's like genuine. He's like, oh, am I supposed to talk about that? Because, you know, you can tell he was talking to Luke about it. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, they're having a conversation and they probably they got crossed wires of when they were supposed to talk about it. They're probably supposed to talk about it next week. Um, but it was like the best thing because of Friday night going into a weekend. Um, I'll tell you this, what, or I'll tell you this, uh, they still like, they banned the account that's in the, like that I used to mm -hmm. cheat on, uh, like within, within like six hours overnight. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was overnight our time. Uh, it was like three in the morning. Um, it was toast. I, like we got After the, email. the video went live. Or when you recorded after it. the video went okay. went live Friday night, um, you know I released it like 9 p.m. on a Friday night, which you guys know, content creators, that is not a good time to release a video, yeah, um, that late. Um, and it, it was because of the WAN show and it and getting that little traction at the very beginning, which kind of diversified the audience. Mm -hmm. And I had the backing of of some like tech, you know, industry right. leaders that will kind of help combat some of the you know like 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 you're not going to completely silence this and i prepared videos ahead of time to like throw up immediately without footage i'm like i'm not like you're not like you are going to shut me down you know i think if they did shut down that video i don't i, I also don't think they ever think it they thought it was going to be that viral mm, yeah <laughs> um if they had known what they know now i don't know maybe they might have maybe in three months they're glad that it got released i don't know uh this is a story that is not over uh, I can exactly. still get sued by them. I mean, who knows? <laughs> Seriously. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> you know? yeah. for, any, for anybody who's like not aware of how that system works, because I've, I've seen this misconception around on the internet with people saying like, how did I get a DMCA takedown on my YouTube video? Because I didn't use like, there's no copyrighted music or anything. You know, what the hell? This doesn't make sense. It's like, people don't realize that if you use footage from a video game, that is their intellectual property. And they actually are within the YouTube system, whether you, rightly or wrongly, whether you think that the system should be like this or not, they actually have the ability to take down any video with any footage from their game in at all. Like the BSG could turn around tomorrow and they could take down every single Tarkov video from the entire YouTube platform and they'd be well within their legal rights to do so. It's actually pretty insane. There's not, some, some people uh, have a misconception about that. It's, it's, uh, it's an unfortunate side effect mm -hmm. of the way that the world works but and, and companies do obviously tend to use it selectively to pick and choose and block out stuff that they don't want to, to have go out there because you know they can they can choose what to take down they don't they don't have to apply the policy to everything fairly they can apply it to the things that they want to um, and bsg have done that in the past with other people uh, they've they have years of history of doing so um, actually not so much recently but in, in the past there's been some pretty big scandals about them you know taking down certain creators and stuff so Thought I'd just uh, just touch on that point for those people who don't necessarily follow, you know, the whole copyright stuff that closely and that kind of thing. But yeah, it's something to be worried about. Whereas, and exactly to your point, right? You had videos ready with no footage, so those cannot be taken by BSG because if you're just talking about it, that's not their IP, right? It's like it has to be physically showing the game, like you did in 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 the video. Um, Which raises the question for me: is why the video is still up? I mean, I guess. You know, you could say it's still up now because it's so popular and then you have sort of like the the backing of Linus Media Group and, and whatnot. And, you know, it's been covered in articles, so they don't want any more heat, you know, you could say. But like even in the early days, I mean, it's still kind of like questionable why, you know, you got banned 
but the video is still up. Like, I, mean, I, I don't know. Maybe the you know process yeah. to apply a, a takedown like that is not. Just... I mean, it's 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 like a truce, you know. It's like I don't know. Um, what would have happened if they had banned me? They set this message that says, and and, and here's the thing: it was well received. Mm-hmm. So to this day, I think it has a 98% like right now, which is close to like just a normal video that I make. <laughs> You know, I mean, like, so at some point you have to look at that and go, okay, I'm going to really disenfranchise even more people. And it's going to make me look like I'm scared of this fact. It's going to, it's going to be really bad. And and it's going to spark like a lot of controversy by banning the video. And I think my response to this being somewhat positive and productive is like the best outcome really for them. I think it's the best outcome for the game. Um, because I don't want the game, I don't want them to go out of business. And, and, and right. if you notice in the video, I never say BSG or Nikita, or, uh, I don't ever refer to the company. I don't tell you to do anything. Um, there's no call to action, you know? Um, it's just like, look at how shocking and crazy this was. And, um, you know, the video can be summarized simply. Like I had this visceral gut, emotional, negative feeling when I found out what was going on in the game. How can I make everyone else understand that same feeling? And I feel like that's the most um, productive, like, emotion to get people to want to go and change things. Um, and now I've now I need to do the work to actually, you know, do 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 the science, and 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 really find out is you know is is there something that can be done? Yeah, which that's I think is a, a great you know outcome. Of it, it's like you know, it's like a blessing in that the video did do so well because now it's you know, you didn't do the nuclear option and you know Tarkov was just kind of like whatever you know if the video didn't pop off, would have anything changed? Would have gotten all these you know responses or or actions from BSG? Were those even related to the video? I mean, I I tend to think so, but I don't know that for sure. It's uh oh, it's a really it's a really cool time. Like I said, I'm, I'm I wouldn't recommend anyone do the video, but I'm happy it happened. You know. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's coming at a, it's coming a funny time because this is straight off the back of like the whole the whole of this like current situation is all like intermingled from the recoil and like movement changes, right? It was you know you had like guys like Trey who like every day you know on this campaign of like trying to change stuff about recoil and whatever, and then you had like the Veritas video, which was kind of like the first big piece of content that came out that got re- responded to directly by BSG um, in in some ways, you know, changing movement and stamina and 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 the, the the horizontal recoil and all this kind of stuff. And from there, we've just been—I don't know—we've been, we've been for, for both better and worse. We've been very. I feel like the dialogue has been shaky and weird, but at least it's not just you know here's the community and here's BSG doing their thing and they're just silent making their game and then we're all well, over here doing whatever. It's been more like you know the recoil thing and then they make some changes and then someone makes a program about filters and they ban it straight away and it's just like well, at least there's some kind of back like there's been there's been good and bad but at least there's been some back and forth right and then and then there's this and i, I do feel like they're being reactive i mean i think it's pretty pretty clear that they're being reactive in that way but i can kind of understand it too right because they're they're doing their thing i think nikita in the because he's been like all uh, all over reddit like talking about all sorts of stuff and i think in one of his responses he said you know the cheating thing it's like it's, it's always kind of number one priority but he said you know, it's like it's like with anything you eventually just kind of get eroded down and um i can't remember where he said this exactly i wish i had his exact quote but he basically said something along the lines of you know you get eroded down and you eventually you know, these certain things fall by the wayside but you know we need to pick back up and get back on working on it that kind of thing so i don't know i think sometimes it's you know the, the community does hammer on them to work on the bits that are actually really bothering people. And this has clearly done that. Um, I didn't like, this is super anecdotal, but there was a like tiny little technical patch that was like yesterday, I think that they released. Mm-hmm. It was like really small. And um, there's quite a few people, glorious and deadly, both just being like, I'm, like stomping on people. Like I've never before. And um, no one really knew what it was about. And somebody asked Nikki to do one of these Reddit threads. And he said, yeah, it was a cheating update. So I, I don't know, like, I don't know, was that, was that coming anyway? Or did he just suddenly go like, right, guy, whoever, whoever's working on this thing, you need to, like, whatever it was, whatever you were doing, drop everything else, do what, finish this thing that you were up to and release that and then, you know, maybe make it a bit better. I, I, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure that they're kind of playing a, a reactionary role in this at the moment. But there's been, a, you know, there's been a lot of things from different sides about balance, about game changes, about cheating now, about you know, 
filter programs and everything. It's been it's been a lot. It's been a real crazy two week period. We had like such ups and downs. It's been absolutely insane. It's been yeah, uh, it's been very very insane. For but, sure. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you know, f- uh, from my perspective, I love that they are trying and doing things. It, it seems clear to me that they are trying to make changes. <laughs> Um, my hesitation is like we've we we've seen this so many times, especially with the anti cheat situation. I mean, the copy pasta, you know, four years ago, and you said the same thing. We've seen this, and then so my my job now is like, are you going to continue to work on this? Mm. And and that's that's kind of that's the cliffhanger that we're all waiting to see. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. And I do think that you know that's that's props to you for actually wanting to continue on and organize these things and speak to people and try to figure out what's going on and as you say it's a very very niche aspect it's, it's probably comes under the remit of you know security in some ways which is already quite a, like a niche part of of like tech and development anyway and then it's like the video game strand of that and yeah it's like it's a big issue in fps but if you're talking like games as a whole it's like it only affects multiplayer it affects fps specifically you know it's, it's one of those things that's and it affects of, of FPS games. It affects Tarkov more than any other game. Like I just I can't think of any other game that would be affected more, except maybe maybe like online casinos, you know, of, for for you know the cheating or hacking or whatever. That's the only other place I can think. Maybe it's like more impactful um, for like something that doesn't directly involve money. Tarkov's like probably the as as bad as it can be in terms of the ramifications of and the the benefits of doing so. Uh, you know, I was like I talked to quite a few friends about. Um, like it, it, so people have been messaging me just being like, hey, there's like a bunch of drama going on right now in Taco community. Like, what's going on? And I was like, I mean, to explain to people about RMT and about cheaters and about the loop and about how people can make money from the game. Like you you can do that in other games, but like there's a very there's a very strong closed loop economic loop within Tarkov of you know the, the, the bands are cost of doing business and all this stuff. It's like it's a it's a unique game in that sense. And a lot of the extraction shooters are, and you brought up uh, the cycle previously, mm-hmm. but there's less players there and it's not quite as brutal. So that is, I don't know. It's, it's the, Dark Horse got that perfect combination of it's like freaking hard and uh, has like quite a lot of people playing it at the same time. There's kind of that combination. Um, and I, yeah, I mean, and, maybe it's been and, seen as a not soft target. Who knows? And it's like gotta be one of the, the most fun games to cheat in from a troll perspective. Like what other game do you get to like ruin forty five minutes of someone's yeah. time and just devastate them in ways? Watch them pick up like a super rare item and just know they have it on them and mm-hmm. go kill them. There's like a there's huge just so power few dynamic. games. Yeah, there's so few games that are as advantageous to cheat in at that level. And and what I what I've noticed is like even if you're a cheater, you still die all the time. Like mm-hmm. it's not a game where like cheating makes you god it, you know you're gonna get banned if you just zap everybody but it, it's a game where even if you're cheating it can still be difficult and challenging and like so and, and i don't want to encourage anybody to cheat that's, a, that's a, that, I, I worry even saying this stuff out loud but like i think that's the reason why so many cheaters play it so much and, and you know they don't just rage for a week they play for like they go all the way to kappa they get to level 68 and stuff you know mm. it's it's kind of crazy because you, you, you kind of question like, how could somebody do this? And, um, and I, I kind of understand it more, um, you know, from, from being in all these, I've, I've been in all these discords, I've been capturing chats and listening to them talk and, you know, try to get into the mindset, what are they doing? You know, why? And uh, Tarkov is just, unfortunately, is just a huge target for them. And it always will be, unfortunately. Do you think that your account that you were cheating on, do you think that would have been banned if you hadn't released the video? No, no. I don't think so, because the cheat is still has been undetected for over two years. It still has not been detected. That's crazy. Um, there's no aimbot. I didn't kill a single PMC. Didn't pick up anything, you know, out of the normal. Just like mm. every once in a while, I pick up like food and water and things like that. I mean, I have no access. I, here, here's something I always forget. You can't buy like food early on. You can buy mm-hmm. crackers. That's yeah. it. So there, there'd be times I'm like, God, I need to go <laughs> grab some Tashanka, but like, I want to go follow this guy. And I'm like level seven and I can barely get to him. And, and then I got to mm-hmm. go, 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 go find food. So I'm sitting here. I'm like, if I don't have like stims, I, if I run out of like, if, if I run out of energy, I'm just like GG's. Like I, I got to go do another raid. What a waste of time. So 
you know, I, I, I do think the game is, um, just such a playground is what I would say for, for cheaters. If you're the trolley type that likes to screw with people, if you're the kind of guy that like wants to take exit camping to a new level, this, that this is what attracts you, you know, is, is having that kind of power over people. Um, but no, I, I don't think they 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 would have banned it. I don't think anything that I did could have been. Now, if you watched me, if, if there was a replay system and you watched one of my raids, I think you would have clicked the ban button in any one of my raids. Because I'm just looking across the map, I'm tracking people, I'm doing things that just are impossible. I'm I'm avoiding danger. I'm following somebody around through a mountain, and they there's no I don't see them, I can't hear them. I shouldn't yeah. be following them the way I am. You would you, like you would have clicked the ban hammer on me immediately. Um, I intentionally did not show or, or blur my raid ID codes mm-hmm. or anybody in my raid. So just with that information, they you know in in a like in like a short amount of time, just looking at one of my raids, you could figure out what what my account was. I, I can almost yeah. guarantee it. Did you get a two two nine code when you try to log in? Do you know, I I got the email. Did I try to okay? This is how silly I am. This is how like destructive <laughs> I was. I I was like on the computer that I use that I play right now. I attempted to log in with it, going, "Well, if I have a hardware ban, let's just see." And I like logged in, and it wouldn't let me. Right, the two two nine. I, I don't know if I, I don't remember two two nine, but it was like count like banned or whatever, which I think is is the two two nine. And then I went to my main account and like typed it all in and went, "Okay, let's see." And like to my surprise, I logged in and I was like, "There's no way that they don't know that that's my account." Like mm. I streamed on it. It's the same computer. I um I had the same credit card, everything. So it was an intentional de- decision. And for that, I do respect them. Like I that's a tough call. What do you do? And they had yeah. to make the decision quick. They had they had to make a decision really, 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 really quick. Um, and at this point, if they were to ban me, it would look really strange too. Like, how would you justify that? Like, you, you, you know, I don't know. I mean, I, I put them in a situation that, that, that was quite difficult. Mm-hmm. I know that. Yeah. I'm, I'm relatively pleased about the, about the, uh, the outcome of it at least. So it's, uh, I think it's, I think it's good that they've left it alone. I mean, that's, this is the thing. It's like anybody who had a clear, a clear cut take on it saying, well, it was hacked, so therefore it's it's bad, whatever. Like, I just think that's kind of missing the point. You know, it's clearly investigative purposes, right? There's no, you wouldn't have bothered. Like, if you actually wanted to do that, then you wouldn't have ever made the video, you know, if you wanted to use it for nefarious purposes or whatever. It's just like, nobody would do that. So um, it's quite, uh, it's quite interesting. And then like, like if people are talking about, this is the other, the other one that I was just kind of like, yeah, you know, if people are saying like, well, you know, there's going to be more cheaters in the raids now, yada, yada, yada. It's like, if it's really as bad as everybody's saying, like, can it really get any worse for like for a start? Like, surely this could only really be positive. Like, can we can we go down from here? I'm not sure. And also, not talking about cheating, which has been kind of the tagline of a, of a lot of people for. A while. I mean, like, I I I don't go around saying like don't talk about cheating, but I just broadly have avoided from you know, talking about it in general. It hasn't worked at all. So mm. at some point, you have to stop doing the thing that doesn't work, um, and and stop sort of be- pretending and believing that. That's going to be the you know, the, the catch all for for fixing this stuff. Like, oh, you know, d- don't don't talk about it because otherwise, you know, people might realize that there's hacks for this game, there's cheats for this game, and they might go and use them if you talk about it. So it's like uh, it's fanciful, right? It doesn't make any sense. So yeah, yeah. So it's yeah, yeah, the I don't topic. buy it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I, I think that was one of the more frustrating like moments in the community. Is you know, there was a lot, a lot of you know content creators were sort of saying this thing, you know, oh, this is going to promote cheating, you know, what have you done? The nuclear war's coming. <laughs> and I, what's, the irony is some of them were some of the loudest people that would on, like, their tweets would just contain them getting shot, you know, five times in the head or in Alton, like, fix the game, there's cheaters everywhere. And I'm like, how do you not see the irony in that? Like, you are saying, or, oh, or this cheat is interviews. Cheat. Right, cheat, I mean... Cheat, uh, cheat interviews or showing videos of like you know how amazing the cheat was i mean pretty much everybody i'm not going to name some of the smaller guys but you know i I watched a video like just recently where landmarks like showing off this guy's like someone sent him a video with the cheats and he's showing oh my god look at all this stuff this guy has and it's advanced cheats it's like way more advanced than the stuff i was using yeah like showing like there are there are some crazy cheats out there 
the ones that I I intentionally dumbed down the thing. I didn't show any like items on the map. I didn't show a lot of the things that the thing could do because it's not relevant to the video and I'm not trying to like advertise for okay. it. I, the only stuff I explained were things that really you needed to know because you're not going to understand the video. You need to know that like why radar is important because it's it's how I catch people. You need to know that I you that I you know that I can see through the wall and you need to know um you know like what KD is and, and the level maybe just so you can kind of like you know have an idea. But I didn't over explain it or really kind of make it glorified in any way. In fact, last night we were ta- I was talking to Veritas and there were, there were several like scenes that I cut out of the out of the video that were really hilarious and funny um, where I was avoiding people or like like, like a five man would roll up. And, and the whole point I was trying to make is like, hey, there are some good people out there. Like, look at this team. This team is completely legit. They walked right by me and I'm like, like teetering around this tree just like playing this game like a five man's like rolling and, and at one point i'm like walking with them a little bit and i get behind a tree and i'm like oh no because i'm like trying to get to somebody else and they just walked right at me and i didn't really see it and i got away and i, I was hilarious and i think that would have made the, the video more entertaining but it would have glorified cheating mm-hmm. yeah so i made a lot of decisions to like not put some of that in the video and the other thing, yeah, and we, we can, and this is a common thing. So I, I love talking about it again because you, you, I see this all over Twitter and I get this message over and over and over. And, um, you know, people are going to cheat more because they see it. And I just, I just don't, um, I, you know, I think it's telling me more about you than it is about like what's actually going on. I really don't believe that if you watch, a, you know, a movie with Darth Vader, you're going to go to the dark side or that right. you watch a movie where <laughs> someone's pickpocketing, you're going to become a pickpocketer right. and all this. Like we don't apply this to any other thing that we see. And, uh, you know, I, I, I think it's important to point out how easy it is to get the cheats because that should make you mad. It should not be that easy. Mm-hmm. It should be more difficult. It is more difficult in most other games and it's not in Tarkov. And that should be something that we're mad about that we want to change. And yeah. yeah. You know, but, like that's the thing that I don't really understand about the whole situation with them being so easy is, and and the fact that as you said, it took like five minutes, right, to just like pay on yeah. the card and then that's it. Like, why don't why don't why don't BSG just do that and then they see what it is? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Like maybe maybe it's just like maybe that's silly. Maybe that's a stupid thing. I don't know really anything about um about any of this stuff to be honest when it comes to the technical side. But it's like I don't know if these things have been undertaken for two years or whatever. It's just like seems like an obvious thing to go and see what they're actually doing you know <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm, they can and i'm getting into discussions with people about why why they can't stop it and w- one of the big things that most people don't realize is you know my microsoft has security features that are really important for things much more important than gaming mm-hmm. you think like banking and finance and information they have features that are built into the uh windows um, and they operate at a level that just is really tight. Um, and it, it, this is also one of the reasons why you really don't see these cheats at all in consoles, because consoles will enable these features and they have it built in and, and they don't allow you to, to turn these things on and off. Mm. And they are, they are features that, you know, you're allowed to have off like secure boot and all these things. And, um, the battle eye anti-cheat does not require you to have some of these features on. And what that allows the cheats to do is, is it, it, it makes it so much easier for them to do the things that they're doing. And essentially, um, if you turn these features on, uh, you will eliminate more than 80% of all the cheats that, that are on the market right now. And when I learned that, I was like, wow. And it's not disputable. Like, even the anti-cheat people don't fight that claim. Like, even, even BattleEye wouldn't argue against that. The argument is, oh, this is kind of annoying and it takes a little time. It, you know, some users will have some issues and will have to enable right. some settings. And like old ships that were like before 2015 and 2016 don't have some of the features that that you need. Um, and so there may be some problems there. Um, and so, you know, it's it's one of these things where, there, but there's a lot of ways around this. You could grandfather this in and, and only require new accounts you know, to have yeah. some of these things on and, and, and there's ways around it. Right. Mm-hmm. But, uh, when I learned that I just was like, Oh my gosh, like they got to do something. And you've seen those arguments on Reddit. You're, people are actually having that argument. Uh, we need to turn on secure boot and, uh, TPM and all this stuff. These are all things that, that battle. I doesn't have to, ha- to, to design 
Battle State doesn't have design. Windows did this yeah. years ago, years ago. And uh, they should be on. And it would make the game more secure. Yeah, I think there was there was actually, uh, I, again, I can't find it because it's like 15 million responses that Nikita's just gone on a full rampage on Reddit. I just did a quick control left because I've got the thread open, but I just I don't have every response open, so I can't see it. But there, there was somebody asking him about some of these things as well. And he said that, you know, the, a lot of users would be impacted by some of these security features because uh, some of them some of them are on older hardware and like people wouldn't be able to use, they wouldn't, wouldn't be able to run uh, Tarkov. As you say, though, that's quite, a, you know, it's a good thing. That's a good way of doing it to have new accounts require it and old accounts not. But I think they're still worried about the old hardware. Like, for example, I had an issue when I installed my 5800 uh, X3D, the Tarkov chip. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. When I installed that, because it was just like, oh, this like this thing's not not available and not enabled, blah, blah, blah. And it's like weird BAS message. And I was like, oh, my God, like, look it up online. Like, what the hell? And it was just like, oh, this is because you've got like, uh, what's it called? T- is it TPM or whatever um, on, the, on the new chip? Uh, I don't know what it's called. It, it, it might be TPM TM or, or TPS. Yeah, TPM. I, uh, that's I'll the one, yeah. Up, um, and I didn't, I, yeah. Don't, I didn't have it on my um, 3700 before, because it's like an, it's a pretty old chip now. And I was like, oh, okay, you just have to press yes, because like it never had it, so you had to just set it up. Um, so I was like, okay, cool. So like, but my old rig like wouldn't have been able to play it because I would have had to have upgraded to you know a more modern CPU for it to actually have that. So I can I can understand it. It's like it's not even like that PC was that old, really. Um, but uh, and, and and that can almost be a meme. Tarkov devs worried about old hardware as the unoptimized game that barely gets like forty yeah. frames. If you're, you know what I mean. Like that's kind of that's kind of my thought. But at the same time, it might be kind of like shit. Like you know, you bought a consumer product, right? And then they updated a product, and the product's no longer usable unless you buy a new unrelated product. You know, See, I I agree with that, and and this is why I say. You know, most cheaters are playing on accounts they bought recently. Uh, and if they're not, you know, it's going to be, it, it, you know, it, it's going to overall lower the amount of people cheating. And then the cheap developers can only develop, you know, this software for old hardware from people that, that are grandfathered in. It's not, it's, there isn't a big incentive for them, yeah, you know, to, to do that. So it would cut down on it. It is a way to eliminate the vast majority of people cheating. And you could allow the guy who's been playing the game for five years, who's, you know, who's, Who's who's hasn't been caught cheating yet and is in his you know has a legit account? He can keep playing on that old hardware, and it's only a matter of time before he's going to have to replace it anyway. Yeah, that's true. With the next map coming out, <laughs> it's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just wait till they make streets bigger. <laughs> Get good. <laughs> so I'm, I'm I'm kind of just like morbidly curious now. Was the cheat you purchased cheap? Like, is this the low entry level cheats? Like, I'm. I'll I'll tell you, um, people have figured out which one it is, and I knew this was a, a decision I made. I knew whatever I showed, people were going to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, it's that's not true. like I, I'm showing you it, so I'm like, I kind of was like, what am I going to do here? So I looked around, and I basically picked one that I thought was really popular that's been around too long. That is, I think the majority of people are are using something like what I used. Uh, you, there are a handful of people who use like just radar or something. But I, I think the majority of people are using ESP and information mm-hmm. to give themselves an advantage. And the one that I use doesn't even have aimbot. Doesn't even have the UI is pretty sloppy. There's not. It, it was really annoying sometimes because you'd see people like stacked up against each other. Yeah. And you can't get their KD. I can't figure out who like who like who am I going to go check yeah. out because like there's four blobs over here. And, and if I don't look around real quick at the beginning of the raids, like real hard to especially in big in, in busy raids with a lot of scabs. Uh, customs is really annoying because everything's kind of on the same level plane. So everything's all lined up. So as far as expense is concerned, they do have freaking sales and stuff. And so you can save a little mm. money here and there, but it's probably um, between $35 and $60 for like a week. But it's, oh, it's a weekly. F- interesting. It's, yeah, but- so a it's a I lot bought, of money. Yeah, it is. I'm amazed it is. how many people it's want to pay it. Yeah, but it's so an addiction. It- that's it's an yeah. addiction. Because, like, dude, if you have, this is kind of like the really fascinating thing about watching the video, right? Like, first of all, like how you edited it, and like, there's a lot of things. I was like, damn, this is really well done, dude. But yeah, watching you wiggle at people and then seeing them wiggle back, where like previously they looked pretty legit until the wiggle, like yeah. the guy that ran up the that, no, that was in Crack House on the second floor that yes. like closes the door and wiggle. I like. For sure, I thought no way this guy's cheating, right? Like he just he just yeah. 
peeked out. He missed shot the shots shoot. on me. Right. And then he wiggles. And I'm like, oh my God, dude. And you think about He's it. He's not even the guy that I was going to go investigate. <laughs> The guy, that it, I, like, the guy in that raid that I, that I was going to investigate, I should have put that in the video. The guy I was, I was going to go investigate had like a 16 KD on the other side of the map. So I'm like, I got to get over there. And I'm on the other side of the map. So I'm like running and I'm like, oh, this guy's in crack house. He's not. Gonna, oh, he just pinged me. That's kind of weird. And I went mm. back and looked and I didn't really show this in the video, but like he's tracked onto me before I've even gone through the hole in the wall. Mm. But I didn't catch it live. Like I'm looking somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you know, I said that in the video and people picked that apart. Like when Landmark watched it live the night it went out, he's like, oh, he wasn't tracking you. That That's a common place to run through. I'm like, dude, just keep watching, keep watching. And he's like, he's like, this isn't a cheater. And then he does the wiggle and like everybody in the chat's just like, <laughs> get fucked, you know? Like, you know, he's cheating. Like how, what, what, you know, there's no other e explanation for this, you know? Yeah. And I went over to that guy and I tried to talk to him and a lot of them are really antisocial. They don't want to use VoIP and he just like aimbots me. And I, and I didn't put that in the video because I feel like, you gave me the wiggle, like we're gonna move on, you know. I only have so much time. I don't want to yeah. like spend too much time on this. Um, and so uh, yeah, like a lot of times I'd be going somewhere and get interrupted by somebody else. I can't tell you how many times that happened. And I'm like, I never would have looked at this guy, like people with like 1.5 KDs. Yeah. Um, hmm. cheating. And I'm yeah. like, and, and you know, that's, it's crazy. That's the thing, is you can, you know, use this cheat and it just gives you extra information. You don't necessarily have to use it to like, you know, <laughs> you could be an ethical cheater <laughs> and big yeah. quotation marks, you know, and just like avoid people, you know, go to loot, you know, like, oh, I have to kill this guy. Like basically if someone yeah. threatens you, you know, then you just, you have that extra confidence, you know, this extra advantage that you're playing with. Yes. And uh, to, to forego that, you know, that $60 a month, well, you, you know, you, you, you're with the normies, man. Yeah. You know, you're getting dunked on all the time, you know? And you die, and you yeah. think, oh, that guy's probably cheating. Let me buy cheese. <laughs> you know, I gotta renew my subscription. <laughs> so there's a guy who, um, uh, the TTV Trench guy on the customs raid where he's inside Big Red and he's, like, facing off him with me through the wall. That whole yeah. scene was, like, 12 minutes long. Mm. That was a I'm just weird standing one. there, and they just keep walking over and looking at me and just... It was a long scene because I'm trying to get them to wiggle. I'm trying to get them to give me like that 100% confirmation. But right. like after a long time, it's like you just gave it to me, man. Like you, you're trying not to give it to me, but you, this, there's no, there's not even, there's no loot over here. You didn't go AFK because you're moving around. You're constantly going right back to where I am. I'm slowly creeping along the back and you always <laughs> look back to where I'm at. So yeah. I got the 100% confirmation then. And I was like, okay, fine, I'm out. He, you can find him in the comments. He he messaged me and, and gave me information that, that tells me that it's him because he told me some things that, that only I could have known, you know, that wasn't in the recording. And he and he told me that, oh, well, my uh, my microphone wasn't working and all this kind of stuff. <laughs> and he's like explaining why it was all awkward there. And then he went to justify his cheating. He's like, well, I'm one of these guys that, you know, I don't kill a lot of people. I mean, well, sometimes I, I kill people, right. but I, you know, I'm just trying to find loot. I'm trying to get my tasks done. And he almost like, is like, you know, feel sorry for me. I'm not that good at the game. Look, my KD's not even that good mm -hmm. and I'm cheating. And I, 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 I think the thing is, um, there are these guys that feel like they are justified in doing it. They're just playing the game. They're just right. using ESP. It's not, it's, I'm not like a, uh, you know, a rage hacker. I'm mm -hmm. just a ESP -er, you know, that just needs a little help. And um, they've, they've talked themselves. It's just like talking to an addict. Yeah. You know, you're, you're talking to an addict that's, you know, drinking a case of beer a day. And they're like, it's, you know, I just, I do it when I get home from work and I don't do it while I'm driving the forklift. And it's, you know, they, they have all these like justifications for all, for their behavior. And, uh, it really is the closest thing to an, like to an addiction. I had people message me and tell me I was, a, I was addicted. Like I, I, I spent thousands of dollars on cheats last year. Wow. It's crazy. And you're just like, oh my gosh, man. It's they can't. Insane. It, the game's ruined for them. They can never go back if they're not cheating. Man. And it, it truly is insane. That's I think the thing for me... Sorry, Judge, you go. Uh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, I was just going to say, like, the thing for me that's so crazy about it is that if the people... It's almost, like, better if people are, like, flying around or if you just get, like, insta-headshotted, you know, you just get aimbotted and it's, like, really blatant because you get... You get shot from a million miles away and it's 855 out of an unsuppressed M4, you know, like that, that kind of thing. It's kind of, it's actually kind of better in some ways. Like the ESP use is yeah. so insidious. 
because as you say, people can be mm-hmm. terrible as well. Like if you're not using aimbot or any, like I, I can imagine people using ESP like dying quite regularly because also if you're not very good, right? If, you're, if you've been driven to the point at which you need the ESP because you're so bad, you probably don't really understand how the networking works. You probably don't understand desync and people probably still push you around corners oh. and kill you before you even see them. And they're like, oh, they must be using like, you know, something else or whatever. Like I can, I can see people use it who are bad and you're just using ESP getting killed a lot. But it's like, it's the most, it's the most insidious thing because if you're without having some kind of God mode, right? Like you did in the, in the raids that you were looking at, there's just no way of really knowing. You just, you can't say where people are facing. If you're cognizant of it and you'll use it carefully, there's really no way of telling. Like it's, it's very, very, very difficult. Um, And I think that's the one that's, that puts lots of things into question. It's probably like the, the lowest level in terms of, the cheats but in tarkov it's so important like knowing where people are because mm. it's all positioning it's movement it's sound it's cover it's foliage it's bushes it's you know people being prone like holding angles or whatever right and there's like there's so much of tarkov that's that and then having all the player positions just shown to you it's uh it's it's completely different it's a completely different game right it takes the whole thing out of it and it's just you can never know as a an individual whether somebody has that or not so that's yeah, the crazy it, thing if they me. don't want you to know there almost is no way i mean you would have to look at hundreds of raids with like AI algorithms to even like get an idea. Mm-hmm. Like, like, um, in, in loot, like, <clears throat> you know, you could write something where, you know, what's the chance of getting, um, high value loot versus low, la- like low value loot out of a gym bag. Well, if you're consistently getting like, you know, if, if you loot like 400 gym bags and the only time you loot it is when it, and, and it's never empty and it always has something good in it. Yeah, you can do things like that. Like you can catch people with ESP with that kind of stuff. And that's one way of detecting people. But the 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 thing is, is like I know that I ran across people that saw me wiggling and then just go, Oh, I'm gonna avoid that guy, and just didn't really make eye contact with me and didn't stare at me and wiggle back, or didn't like get really annoyed and fire off warning shots and then just like <laughs> rage hack on me. There's a lot of people who saw that and go, Oh, that guy's cheating. Let me stay away from him. Um and because, you know, they're counts level 56, you know, and they've been, they've vested how much money in it at this point. They're closet hacking so they can impress their buddies uh, when they play with them and they don't want to get caught. Mm. And I'm sure that happened. Who knows how many times that happened? Yeah. And this is why when, 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 when people want statistics, I'm like, first of all, it's not possible. But, sec- but second of all, it's like, I am giving you an opinion based on a, a, a small sa- sample size. And I hate that that was like one of the biggest takeaways from the video, mm-hmm. the the stats, because it wasn't my intention. Um, and, you know, it's it's one of these things where you talk to other cheaters, you talk to people like Giga Chads who are playing labs a lot and playing a lot of games. They'll tell you it's higher, you know. Um, but I wanted to give a figure that I felt really confident in that I um, that was true. I, you know, in my experience, in the raids that I ran into, I was able to verify this number. And um, people get so caught up in that. And, and I, I always ask the, these people, because I've seen people in chat commenting a lot about that. What would change if it was 70% or 50% or 80%? What would change in your opinion? Or uh, would, would, would the video work or not work if, if it was between 50 to 80, if it was one of those different numbers? Or, or if I gave you a bunch more stats and I explained, like I spent another hour in the video and went through all my methodology how would that ch- how would it change about the video like would would you feel like it's less of an issue or more of an issue like and for me it was no um we all know it's too much i think the thing that um i realized is it's too much and it's like it's more than i thought i think mm-hmm. um i think going into the video i would have put it around like 20 or 30% of raids maybe maybe more sometimes maybe less um i didn't think it was going to be as common um, and yeah. so I think, you know, and, and here's why it's not as common because you're not getting rage tacked all, 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 all the exactly. time. The vast majority of cheaters are not wiping the lobby. They're not doing anything crazy. Um, they're just going to have an advantage when you roll up on them. And if mm-hmm. they have something or if you have something that, that they want, they're going to get it. If it's Rashala and they've been, you know, running 10 raids to find them, it's going to be theirs if they want it to be theirs. And you're not really going to be able to figure that out as someone just in a raid, just playing the game. I mean, you're just going to feel like, wow, this guy just got me, you know? Yeah. Um, 
he was just holding an angle in a conics box, you know, a hundred meters away, you know, b- before I, he could hear my sound. And, uh, w- we watched a poor guy get decimated by the cheater. And I wanted to put that one in there because I, I want you to see like a, just a regular player enjoying the game who died to somebody who would have left that raid going, Oh, I just, I just got owned. I, the guy was holding an angle on me and I died. And, uh, it's also legitimate that people hold angles when they're not cheating, you know? So there's no way that you can tell in that situation. And uh, yeah. it's just, you know, that's what I was able to show, which is, is I think, was the most convincing part of the video. Um, you know, it's that, it's that damn wiggle, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of unfortunate <laughs> in some ways that like the 60% number has become like the be all and end all because as you said before, really the point of the video was to spark an emotion in people about it really it was more of a feeling rather than necessarily like the hard number of 60 percent of raids that's that's what really matters right it's the emotion that people feel when they see the prevalence and it's as you say does it matter if it's 50 or 70 like not really it's it's that emotion which is why i think that the video is actually so um i don't know so masterfully done in many ways honestly because you're not you've not only had to go and do the thing do the risky thing and get all the information collect that all together figure out some way of actually kind of passing these people out right so it's like only the people who are going to I'm like i'm still amazed at the hubris of all these guys just going back and just wiggling back or whatever but it's like oh you know you're part of the brotherhood it's like some kind of like sub subcult underneath mm-hmm. the whole mm-hmm. whole thing um so you've got all those guys and then like a bunch of people who haven't so your number's probably an underestimate anyway and then you've got to somehow create a uh, you know an engaging youtube video out of this and then you've had to piece together all the clips and like think about that from a video composition perspective which is the whole you know content creator side so i don't know it's uh yeah i don't know it's just Props to you for managing to actually fit all of that in and and get it to such a convincing level where you know I, I didn't see I didn't see Landmark's response. Um, I did watch the XQC one because I was kind of just kind of interested. <laughs> and yeah. uh, I don't know, it's just funny seeing people's reaction when because yeah. he was like, how, did he play? How much did he play Tog of like a bit or did he just play it when everyone else? Was I playing remember it him point? playing like a wipe or two ago. He played a fair bit. And I think mm. he just got frustrated with it, you know, like anybody who wants to hop in and be really good at, at, at Tarkov, it's just, it's such a hard game. No matter how good you are at gaming, you just, it's a hard thing to stream and learn at the same time. And I think he, yeah. he, he kind of suffered from that. Um, and I thought Pyro, um, Pyro Cynical's response video, oh, he did he's, one like, too. Wow. he's a British guy, blonde, blonde hair. His was the most entertaining because he's just an entertaining guy and he's making jokes the whole way through. And he's talking about, he talks about getting Tarkov, like, you know, that's a thing. And he's kind of telling his audience about the game because he's played it a little bit. And he's like, why would anybody want to play this game? Like, it's already <laughs> like so punishing, you know? And he's like, he, he has a really entertaining style to him. I thought his response was really, really good. His was one of my favorite. My wife thought that like, that was the funniest one, you know, okay. that, that, that we watched. Um, but yeah, I, you know, um, Landmark unfortunately watched it so early. He he um unfortunately it was the timing for him is he watched it so early, like in the first night, within the first hour of it going live. Wow. He knew immediately that I think it was a bad take and just deleted the VOD, like, but he didn't even publish the VOD when he got offline. Hmm. <laughs> and hmm. uh he chat tried to make him watch it early on in the stream and he pulled up like two minutes of it and he's like oh this is too boring he's not getting to show me the footage and they're like just six minutes in they'll just go to six minutes or whatever and he's like no no and he wouldn't do it and then chat would not shut up they would just kept pestering him <laughs> for like an hour and he finally goes okay fine we'll watch it and he was like real critical of like whether anybody was cheating in the video and then finally at the very end he goes um well you know um i agree that all those people in that video were cheating but you know i don't really know how bad it is and all this kind of stuff and then and then he like dies to like rage hackers like two or three times in a row and is like <laughs> in it while he's playing the game it just was like so funny and then right before he gets off he goes you know after watching the video i don't even feel like playing the tarkov anymore and he like logs off Damn. and it's like it was like the most incredible like like th- that was the first person i watched watch the video and I was kind of like a little bit beat down because I was like, that's not what you should have taken away from the video. And like, mm. and I was so glad that he was kind of in a minority there with that kind of take. Um, and then as it started moving through the rest of the community, I think, I think it, you know, it, it, it changed over time. But like, I was so nervous when I was watching him watch. I was like, no, this is going to draw too much attention to it right now. They're going to take it down like right now. Like BST is like, <laughs> oh no. I was like, no, I was sitting there and we were just, we were all sitting in discord. There was like four or five of us 
uh, my close circle, you know, and we're sitting there. We're all just talking. We're like, this person's watching. It was almost like a uh, NASA like <laughs> yeah. launch. You know, oh, we're like, this person's doing this. This person's doing that. This person's take like we're sitting here all <laughs> like, oh, no, I stayed up to like 4 a.m. that night. Wow. Um, just I'm not surprised. Freaking out. I can imagine. And I was so tired the next day. I was like, oh, man, it was nuts. And I, I wasn't planning on releasing it that night on Friday night. So like this was all uh, it wasn't even the final version of the video. I, I had uploaded a version um, the whole interview at the end. I was going to cut down. I sent it all to Luke because I wanted him to just. Here, here's some of the stuff we talked about. I'm going to use some of this. And I, I was going to edit in the morning and re-upload by the mm. afternoon and do, do some more editing. And that's why the interview is so long at the end. Like, I, I just... And I was like, fine, it's fine, it's fine. Like, the algorithm figured out that the important part was 20 minutes and everybody was watched that and it, and it all wor worked out. But, uh, you know, it was like just such a crazy night and week. I just... I don't even know how to describe it. Mm, I can imagine. You know, it's, it's, quite, it's quite funny, actually, is that like it's, it's almost probably going to be in one of those situations where, yeah, the video is about something very, very bad within the game. But depending on what happens, like it's going to depend what happens. But despite that, because it's had such reach and there's so many people who've watched it from so many different kind of walks of like the gaming sphere, it probably will end up actually doing a positive service towards the game even if the, the situation doesn't get fixed, because people will, you know, they'll know the name, it puts the name out there again, there's like, you know, so many different games people can play, it's like, one of those things where, you know, they always say any publicity is good publicity kind of thing, and there are exceptions to the rule, but yeah, as, as kind of memory fades on exactly what it was, people will forget exactly what, oh yeah, I remember that game had some issues or whatever, like, oh, maybe maybe check it out, you know, it's like, it puts it in the public conscience, and so, you'll probably, you'll probably end up doing a service for the game in the long run, as opposed to actually doing I hope bad. so. And, and you kick BSU at the same so. time into more action, hopefully. I, I, I love the game. I, I don't think I could have made this video if I hated the game. It wouldn't have come across the way it did. I truly, like, I, I, I truly was, like, saddened mm. when I was doing the test. I'm even getting just a little emotional right now. Just thinking about, I was like, oh my God, just the feeling of how sad I was when I learned what I learned. And I think I truly do love the game. You, you don't play this game for as long as I have and so much e e twipe if you hate the game. And I think that's why people had such emotional reaction because because people really do love this game. This game is yeah. a special game. And my goal is like, you know, a, a lot of people came to chat today and have asked me, um, you know, I'm a new player. Should I play this game? Is this a bad time to start? That, that is a common question I keep getting. And I keep telling them, I'm like, no, this is a great. This is, you know, every day the game has been out is pretty much the best day to start the game. Um, you know, and, and that's what I tell people. Yeah, there's a lot of bugs right now. And there's some things that were like better last wipe. But like, if you're a new player, like start play the game, it, it's fine. And what I hope happens is after this, we have a good story, we have a good ending, and things get under control and things are better. And it's even a better game. And then that, that, that brings people back that were like, oh, remember that bad cheating problem? Oh, it's gone. And people are going to actually come back. Think about all the people have, that are not playing right now just over the last couple of years that have stopped playing that would come back if it was fixed. And I, I, I want to I wanna tell that story. I hope that is the story that I can tell. I really, 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 really do. Yeah, you know, so something, something my dad's always said, he's like, the best time to go visit a restaurant, he's like, it's just after it reopens, after it gets busted for its food hygiene rating. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because they're going to be on. like... Yeah, they're going to be all over it. You know, it's like, the it is actually the number, number, number one priority. To Everyone's think, like right, double gloving so. back there. Exactly. So <laughs> hopefully the same thing happens. You know, now it's, it's, if it was number one priority before, now it's basically all anyone's thinking about. And, you know, they actually get some of this stuff working properly so that they can counter some of these things we hope we hope we will see um yeah i'm really hoping yeah we'll see so yeah there was a lot of people who were asking you to release the data um and not even just necessarily like release the data and release the stats whatever but just like release all the raids like show all the footage so people could come if they really wanted to they could come to their own conclusions and i actually was kind of in that camp as well at the beginning i was like yeah you know i think that may be maybe good because then people could like pull through it and actually have a look at it and like do if people really want those stats or whatever they can do the critical analysis themselves it's not necessarily on you to go and do whatever it is that the community is demanding of you but after hearing, I can't remember where you said it. It might have been in one of your follow-up videos. I'm not sure where, but um, where you said that you didn't want to start any witch hunts because obviously anybody that you're following could... It, nothing's right. ever certain, 100%. Right? Random things do happen. Um, and, it's, and it's tough 
if somebody gets caught in the crossfire, you know, it's the same thing as, as uh, yeah. false bans, right? It's like if somebody gets false banned because they did, they've done something and it really looks like hacks, but it actually isn't because it's just some weird situation where some glitch or whatever, right? It's like any, anything can happen in this game, as we know, as we know. So I, after you explained that, I kind of understood, I think, as to why you didn't. And was, was there like, am I right in saying that there's like, well, there was one situation that already seems that it may not have been? Yeah, so I, I want to say this now. I've been saying this in every every chance I can, and it will be in the next video as well, is um, there's a guy, Hostile Puppy, who is in a shoreline raid, and he's in front of a rock, and he shoots me through the mountain, essentially. And it's very plausible that um, he, I, I, I was visible when he shot me. I was doing these little lean peaks next to the edge, trying to bait him into shooting. And... At the time, I thought it was really clear because I'd been following this guy for a while and he was tracking me. And uh, I don't think there's enough evidence to say 100% that this guy's cheating. I think it's, it's likely that he wasn't cheating. And I've, uh, I've already put like an edit in the description and I've like made a mm. tweet and just like tried to get the, the, the information out. But it's kind of like, you know, this is exactly why this, this is such a, tr a tricky thing to do. And why like... You know, this is kind of, you know, there's some risks I, I took. I thought I picked ones that I felt really, really confident about. Um, and I still messed that up. And so if I were to release all the VODs, I can tell you there are some, there's some information that um, people need to know. I mean, uh, number one, I think I saw a streamer um, who was live at the time who is 100% cheating. Um, I'm like 99.9%. And I've sh I showed it to a bunch of people before I made the video, and I decided not to put it in, in in the video, and because there are a few plausible things, and I wasn't as good at detecting cheaters mm -hmm. when I ran across this guy, and I voiced to him a little too early in the interaction. I should have collected more data because I think it would have been a lot more compelling. So I stopped doing that, and then I also ran into another streamer who I think is like I'm sixty to seventy percent sure was cheating. But like, I just can't mm -hmm. put them on blast. And it's unfortunate. And, and again, th this was like on the end of night two, maybe early morning of day three. So I was like pretty good at this point, but I, I wasn't like as dialed in. Like later that day three, I'm, I'm telling you, man, I was getting dialed in. Day, day four, I was like, I had a, like a way of, of working. You know, I felt like I was finding people every single raid almost, you know, just like I would just test everybody and I would, I would know how much time to spend with people and not. Mm. And, you know, even just looking at like the, the, the names and, and, and what kind of gun they had and the setup that they had, I was looking at like their loadouts and like going, this doesn't make any sense. You have this KD, what are you doing? Cause it's not even about money. you got, this is all messed up. I'm going to go check you out. And sure enough, you know, oh, you don't have a sight on your gun and we're on woods. Um, that means, you know, because the ESP, I was learning that the ESP doesn't work very good when you look down on a ranged opti optic. It gets all, like, weird. Mm -hmm. And so when I would look at somebody with, like, iron sights or, like, a hollow on woods with, like, a, you know, an MDR, like a 7.62 MDR or, like, a, uh, um, an SR-25, I'm like, that's, a, that's an odd choice. I mean, a lot of people, will, you know, run hollows on every map. I was like, that's a little odd. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go check you out versus this other guy. So I was getting more better data at the end. Like I was being more consistently finding people. And so, you know, when, when, when you talk about releasing the VODs, it's like, also I poison the well because like my mic is open the whole time and I'm like, this guy's cheating. Like you hear me in the video, like, oh, look at this guy, whatever, whatever. So I'm going to poison the well and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think someone's cheating and someone's going to take that out of context um, and say like, you thought this guy was cheating. It's like, well, yeah, but like, I wouldn't have, you know, at the end of the day, would I have written that one down as 100%? Yeah, I was convinced like for uh, 10 seconds there, but maybe I was right. wrong. I was also convinced in one where I said, this guy's cheating, and then he was just AFK. Like, I would have <laughs> looked like an idiot in that video, you know? Right. So like, yeah, and I, right. I, I did, I was wrong. But like, uh, you know, I have the context to tell you afterwards that, hey, I was wrong about this guy, you know? Mm -hmm. But like in the moment, it, it was just gonna look really bad. One, 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 one of the problems is, is I record on my main PC and I separate all my audio channels. So my, my voice is, is in a different channel from the game footage, which is a, diff, a, a different channel from Discord or music or whatever. So if I'm editing a video, I can pull um, you know, my voice separate from mm -hmm. the game if things are really loud. I couldn't record the ESP on my main computer. I literally cannot. It's like built into uh, like a motherboard level. The overlay cannot be seen by screenshots in Windows. 
if you capture the window in OBS, it doesn't show up. It doesn't show up if you capture the game capture. Uh, yeah. The only thing you can do is take literally take a phone. Like even on the cheat guy, he takes a phone to show you like what it looks like because he can't capture it. No. So I had to I had to get a, a a a different way of doing a capture card by sending the HDMI source to another capture card and then sending it back to my monitor, which is not normally how most people do it. Um, so I had to do that to even record. So I was recording on my second PC, which I send just two channels over there. I, I don't get to do a bunch of different channels. Mm. So my audio was mixed in. And so I was worried about that. And um, in the end, I don't know what would have like, what what would have people done with the data? I, I, it was like very little win, a lot of bad. A lot of bad was certainly going to come. And I knew there were a few cases with TTVers that... Um, um, one didn't have a T team in his name, but I figured out he was a streamer. Um, cause his name is, is, uh, I, I, I was able to figure out who he was and, you know, bad's going to come there and I don't know if it's justified and I don't want to be involved in that. And I, and I, and, and I could, I could go through painstakingly and like blur out every name and every raid for like 45 minute raids. I mean, come on. That's just, yeah. I'm not doing that. I'm not, I, I'm, I'm not going to do that. So so I made the decision not to, and I, and I get why I got I got flack for it. But I think the more you think about, it, if you went through the same thing, I think the only thing that I wish I could have done differently is had more people shadow me real time, watching me do the process and audit me, and weigh in on, on who they think is cheating, but also like just audit me and be like, yeah, I was there the night that we did it. We found four out of eight, you know, in our rates. Yeah. Uh, you know, one, one night, Travis, we ran three, three raids in a row with no cheaters. And I was like, this is kind of a slow night. And then we did five in a row after that, you know? And I was like, and, and, uh, you know, it was one of these things where, um, I wish I'd done that more. Although how could I have done that? Like, Hey, uh, streamer friend that you don't know me very well, that, that is a prominent person that people respect. I'm cheating. Come over here and watch me cheat and don't tell anybody. <laughs> and if you say no, the whole project gets fucked. Yeah, you know, so I was like, well, I don't know how I can do this, you know. Um, so yeah, it was a challenge. It was one. a challenge. In terms of stats and, and whatnot, like what, which maps did you actually play? I because I, I know you haven't, you're not going to release like any specific stats, whatever. I don't think, but um, just as a get a broad sense of where you played, you mentioned Woods. We saw you play customs and a little bit of interchange. Did you end up sticking to one map? Did you just uh, go to certain time frames, whatever? And did you see any? I mean, it's just, it's a, we're talking now, we're breaking it down. We're talking like small data sets, right? Because you're talking 60% of 125, yeah. which is then you're talking like 70. And then if you go to different maps, and it's like it's only a few data points in each place. But like, broadly speaking, where did you spend most of your time? And um, did you see any I, differentiation between some locations? One of the things that was kind of a bummer, I only did one labs raid. And in the labs raid, I think I ran into a, a group of closet cheaters um, and they voked with me and kind of like carried me through the raid and they annihilated everything on in the map. It was like I but I didn't have like any evidence of that. Mm -hmm. But I, I, you know, I, you know, I don't know what I would say about that raid. I don't think I counted it as a cheating raid, but I was like, these guys are like, this doesn't seem right. And they seem kind of young and they, 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 they fit all the demographic information, you know, of like a cheater. Um, but I didn't, I didn't write them down as, as a cheater. And it was unfortunate because like getting labs cards is actually a lot harder. Even if you have ESP, there's only a handful of maps where they even spawn and like streets though. I would run streets a lot to look for labs cards early on. I was like, Oh, I'm going to do some labs mm. runs to, to show that off. But I was like, dude, this is going to take me all week. I got to run an entire raid to get one labs card, then do one raid. I got to go back to streets. And, it, and what, what if it's not there? I got to load another streets raid. I can't buy them. And no one can drop them for me. So I was like, dang it. And I thought about hopping on my main account just to, to test labs. And I was like, eh, you know, or get like a burner account or something. And I was like, ah, this is getting too complicated. Everybody knows there's a bunch of cheaters on labs. I'm like, what, what, what am I going to prove here? This is a waste yeah, of time. Mm -hmm. So I didn't do that. Um, I ran uh, quite a bit of streets, uh, quite a bit of uh, a, a lot of customs. And the reason I did customs a lot, because I feel like, that's where I found the majority of people who like weren't raging were mm -hmm. on customs. When I went to like maps like uh, 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 Reserve and some, sometimes Lighthouse, you would find like raging guys and it just wasn't that interesting for the video because I could give you a montage of level, you know, 17, 25 KD guys zapping you. And I just... Okay, I mean, we, we've all seen that. We everyone knows what that feels like, yeah. And I feel like you're pretty good at identifying that in game without ESP. That I want to show you the cases that you would miss 
if yeah. you didn't have my 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 information. So I made like a, like a very tactical decision on what I showed you, and it just so happens to be that it was a lot of shoreline. It was a lot of like customs um, that 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 ended up in the video because that's where I just ran into a lot of people who were using ESP, and I, and and it must be like quests. You know, guys get stuck on quests on those maps. Um, there were a few interchange raids and stuff. Um, but overall, like I chose a very small amount to show for a reason. I just, I, the video can't be forever long. And I wanted er, every clip showed a different thing that I was trying to get across, you know, yeah. interacting with cheaters, cheaters in groups, um, you know, rage cheaters, guys who wiggle, guys who don't wiggle, who just acknowledge it, guys who who do this weird thing, some guys who talk to you, some guys who friend you afterwards. Like all these things happened multiple mm. times, but I don't, you know, I don't want to like beat a dead horse. And I think I was right at that point where people would like, I'm watching people do react videos and, and right where I stopped showing clips is about where people are kind of done. They're like, okay, mm. I get it, I get it. And so I could have shown like different, like the Tarkov crowd wants to see night customs versus day customs versus whatever. And I think guys like you and Veritas and other people, they would watch a two hour video. They would watch 18 hours of videos of like all the different stuff. I just, I just think the average person wouldn't, right? Yeah, yeah. And um, <laughs> there, there, there was one night customs raid that was like a great example of a typical night customs raid where I'm following this guy. I find out that he's cheating and I start talking to him and I team up with him and start walking with him and we're like, whatever. And we get annihilated by another group of cheaters. And I thought about including that one, but I, I, I didn't have the strongest evidence on him. And I was still talking to him and getting him to kind of admit to it. And he was kind of admitting to it, but not really. And then he calls out these other two guys as cheating, like really early on without really knowing. And he was right. But it was like, how'd you know he's right? And it just wasn't strong evidence. And I ended up dying. And he's streaming live and I go and like watch the rest of the raid and he gets destroyed and he doesn't. And I'm like getting my capture stuff out and I kind of miss it. And I message him afterwards. I'm like, hey, man, can you turn your VODs on? He's like, no. And I'm like, please turn, turn your VODs on, man. I want to like, I want to see, you know, whatever. And I try to come up. I, cu I couldn't come up with like a compelling reason why he mm. needs to turn his VOD on. And then he got real sketched out and stopped talking to me <laughs> and he changed his name. Uh, and I was like, he, and he changed his, his Twitch name too. Oh, okay. uh, this was another guy, and and then I found out his his Twitch account got banned, mm, and I don't know why. I don't know why. He said he broke terms of service, so I asked him about it. I said, "Why did your Twitch account get banned?" He's like, "Oh, you know, I told you I I I have I stream on live, so when people want, so when I kill people, they come and chat and get mad. Totally like trolley hacker mm -hmm. thing to do." And he's like, "Yeah, so I got in trouble," and I'm like, "I don't know if I believe him. I don't know why. I don't know what happened." And that that was a situation that I wanted to show and I chose not to. Um, but th there's just a lot of decisions I had to make. And I, uh, but yeah, I did run pretty much every map. Um, night raids, it's weird. Night raids, I feel like, in the video I said there are more cheaters at night and I was like, people are misinterpreting that. It's, it's nighttime in real life. There yeah, are more cheaters just like, across yeah, yeah. the board. And I think it's just the, you get a younger, like trollier kind of group that stays up really late. So I did some, mm. I, I stayed up really late one night re recording somewhere. And I was like, there are so many more cheaters at night. And I think it's just, you know, early in the morning, like the, the kind of hacker kitty, script kitty doesn't wake up at 9 a.m. to play Tarkov, you know? <clears throat> you know, they're in school or they're, they don't wake up that early or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. And so I, 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 I noticed that. Um... But when it came to like night versus day raids, here's what I'll say. A daytime full customs raid, way more likely to have cheaters than a nighttime customs raid that only has three other players. Yeah. But the chance that an individual is cheating in a night raid on customs, way higher. But they just, there's not that many players at night. Mm. Like, so I would go into these raids because two other players. So what do you do with that information? Do I do I right. say night night raids? And so I didn't get into this night raids being safer than day raids because it's like it it I like and I experienced I think more ragers at nighttime customs, um and, and I show one of them in the, in in the clip. But like, does that mean that night raids have more cheaters? It's like, well, what is a cheater? Like the experience of being cheated on is probably more likely at nighttime, but there's more cheaters during during daytime customs. So that's a controversial thing. And I, and I also didn't want to get into these debates because I knew people have very strong opinions about this. 
and it's not important to like my mission. I don't care whether it's yeah. nighttime or daytime. The problem yeah. is there's too many cheaters. You know, yeah. like I, I don't like getting all these sidetracks. And I and I knew I was going through all my stats and I had a spreadsheet and I had all this stuff. And I was like, this is just gonna the whole video is gonna be about the stats. Everyone's gonna debate the stats. And I'm like, I don't want to get into this. Uh, because if I gave this to you or to Veritas or someone else, you guys would all come up with different numbers if you watch the footage. And I just feel like it's not very compelling. Um you know, uh, and, and also like my decision-making and how I moved and how I tested people is not maybe the way that you would do it. So right. it's, yeah. it's just, it's just such a hard thing to go down. I think the more you talk about it and you realize, I think more, more, more people are coming around to like, yeah, okay. I kind of get that. Um, would but you yeah, consider it was, it was releasing the data now, now that it's kind of like out there in such a big way now that oh, that's I, all settled I, and the like the conclusions have been made and the it's sort of been it's sure. sort of set in stone right you've, you've you've carved it into the 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 great stone of tarkov history or whatever like it's, yeah, it's not the going away now tarkov time. exactly exactly um, i, what do you I don't know now? i don't know what i would release i don't think you should because he, no here's, gods, but just the spreadsheet with the with the data points of but with your what data point because here's here here's the problem i basically told you um, how many times I verified people with the wiggle methodology and with radar where it's like pretty much indisputable. Like it's just not logically possible that this guy's not cheating in this raid. Well, you could so call it things say, like it's I, you know, he heard you maybe, you know, so that's why he was looking in that direction. I mean, you could come up with many different yeah. logical reasons, but this is the thing I think is I don't, I wouldn't consider it like data. You know, this isn't like the most yeah. scientific thing. This is still like, your experience I, it's my opinion it's my right. opinion and and that's I, I i presented that way and in the follow-up video i said like you guys are gonna hate this it, it is a trust me bro situation mm -hmm. like and i'm not like beating around the bush i'm telling you like you will you would have had different like you know it it, it, it isn't like um a, a physics experiment where it's like did the rocket get to this height how many times yes or no and you and you write a yes and then you write a no. There's no HUD that pops up and says, you're a cheater and you're, and you're afraid. Okay, checkbox. Right. Um, I'll give you an example. There are a lot of times where I had to use like intuition and kind of decide like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example that I used last night. It's like this guy with an extremely high KD with a low level, you know, relatively low level for the wipe who has, you know, high enough level to be on a kill quest, right? Goes into interchange um, and immediately runs to the exit and kill is not in the raid. And I can't even get there in time to like cut him off. There are a lot of explanations as to why he might do that. Like you could say he didn't repair his armor. He um, accidentally logged into interchange and he wants out. Or he brought the wrong ammo. Or... Any number of things. Oh my gosh, I brought the wrong keys to the raid, no and I need to do this task. There's literally a bunch of reasons. I, I was joking last night. I said I was I was I was I brought up a lot of funny stats. I said, um, you know, like four percent of raids uh, players uh, came into the raid without healing and were like laying down and spawn. I saw that all the time. I'd look across. I'm like, this guy's got like two health. And, he, and I'm like, he's like laying down, just like healing, you know. And I'm like, thank you. I do that all the time. Um, and so, you know. Uh, that that could be the case but it also could be that he um is cheating and you know is that a day how confident do i feel about that and and if it happens like seven times do you say that eh, probably two or three of them are, 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 are cheating that that's not data it's not, it's not it's not data that i can like uh present to you in a spreadsheet you know because these these cases are all different and they happen sporadically like another example was uh there was a guy who i'm pretty confident was uh using a bot to lower his kd and his kd was extremely high like 32 and he ran to the center of the map with no uh anything with a knife out and went afk like right where scabs like you know right at the bus station at uh customs and he ran to that spot and then he's just sitting there and i get over there and i'm like what are you doing he's just like afk and then a scab aggros him and kills him and I go look at his level and I'm like, you're level 54. Like, what are you doing? And I'm pretty sure like he's using a bot to lower his KD. And I, I asked the Vogue, it's like, yeah, there's this bot program, you know, and you run it because, uh, you know, BSG can, can detect you disconnecting and doing that over and over and over and over and over and over. So these guys have figured that out. They, they either run out of the raid or they, um, you know, they go die to a scav. 
And I'm sure they'll update their algorithm. And it's going to be like, you need, you, need, you need to die to a scab with this much stuff on you now. It's probably what's going to change with their, <laughs> their algorithm. But the thing is, like, what do I, how, how do I present that in a spreadsheet? Because that, that, that situation only happened once. I saw evidence of other people, like, potentially lowering their KD. But, like, I don't know. I don't yeah, know. Right, I, right, I, and so it's a really hard thing to communicate. And it comes down to, like, what I called gestalt, which is, like, basically your feeling about something like in in the medical field you know I, we like we used it you know um you kind of size up a patient and you decide how sick they are or what they have and then you know you of course you run all the tests and you and, and you look for the objective information but i can't run tests you know there's no blood tests i could run on these guys and be like oh you got ha- you got hacker blood buddy you know there are things that i can do where i can really make sure that you're cheating you know like wiggling and stuff but at some point um, I have to make a lot of estimated guesses and you have to kind of, you know, uh, trust my, in my intuition on it. And, um, you know, I, a, a lot of people have done tests where they say how many hackers there are, and it's always an extremely high number, um, per raid or, or, you know, you know, the chances there's a hacker in your raid, uh, most people's numbers are higher than mine. Um, and, and I think, uh, it also depends on when you do the test, man. I mean, like last week was different than this week. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Um, and so if you did a test this week, it's going to be different. Um, I, I used all North North America servers. I didn't select any specific spot. And so just even changing that could change the data. And I, I think it's just, I don't know. Um, I, I don't want to make the conversation about the stats of the whole thing. And I get how that yeah. frustrates you or other people. I, I totally get it. I want to know them too. I just, I don't even know. Like, like I, 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 I was a pre-med in college. I, you know, I, I, I was a paramedic and all that in the fire department and all that. So I had to take all, a lot of like high level science classes and we had to do a lot of statistical stuff. And, um, I remember having to do all that. And, um, this is just not to that level. It's just, it, it's just not. And, um, I, I, I wish I had more for you. Um, I think, it would be fun to show some more raids, but I hesitate showing any more footage. I just think it's not good for the game. I, I don't think Nikita would like it. I don't know what he would do with that <laughs> if I started showing more footage. And if I release the footage, it's like, I really, st- I'm starting to play with fire here. I don't know. It wasn't yeah, about the data. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, it's about the story. And, and I understand, you know, I too was like, dude, hey, did you happen to track this in the spreadsheet? Because that could also be really helpful. But you know, it's everyone's coming to their conclusions and things, and it's really shedding light on area that, hey, this really is bad. Like it's worse than you think, you know. And and like for me, it's kind of surprising, but also not surprising in some ways because I didn't really like reporting people because I never felt confident that this person was cheating. And now, after watching a video, I feel like it doesn't really change my ability to report people, you know, even if it is the 60 percenters, but it just, it just shows how you really can never know. And I can, you know, in defense of some of the, you know, the critics of the numbers, it should be higher. You know, it's definitely higher. You know, maybe if you're like playing 24 hours a day and you shift W, you're only looking for PVP. You're more likely to run into hackers because they see you as a threat or, or whatever the case may be, you know, there are tons of things that can influence this, but. Uh, overall, I just I, I think now, you know, anything related to releasing the data would just do more harm than good because it, it really isn't about how many people are cheating in a raid necessarily. It's more about you taking us through that journey of how easy it was to get the hacks, how e- how often, you know, how they do these sales. You know, it's been around for two years. I don't know if that was in the video, but how many people are potentially cheating? The uh, you have the cheese so you can see them and they're interacting with you and then they're like admitting to it. Like it's it it really for me, it was like super powerful. And I almost think, too, that like the, uh, you know, a lot of people, I suspect for me and Lex didn't watch the, the Luke portion of it where you interview him. But I liked how it sort yeah. of framed it for like the average player, you know, and, and then Luke going through that and be like, man, you know, this is just like really disturbing. You know, I like, I, you know, he said a line that like resonated with me as like. I know playing video games is a waste of time, but there are other things I could waste my time on that I'd be rather be doing, you know? And I think yeah. that people, you know, the consumers should know 
have some idea how bad it is. And I don't like that with our current state, it feels like, you know, everyone knows they're cheating Tarkovs. Of course, like we, you know, we, we feel like there, there's a high amount. You see the rage clip videos of fly hacking, but like to see that how many people potentially are using this ESP is just kind of like, you know, it blows your mind, you know, and obviously as you said there's a lot of missing footage in there. Um, but I think you sort of like, Showing us what's behind the curtain there was was the most powerful part of it. And and I want to clear something up, like 60% grades having a cheater in it, the vast majority of them um are not gonna kill you. And it's not because they wouldn't kill you. It's just Tarkov has big maps, there's a lot going on. The chances right. of you running into them is pretty low. I have to go out of my way with ESP tracking these people these people down. I have to go out of my way to go confront them. It it doesn't mean, you know, if you, it, you know, the guy in Big Red who's minding his own business, who's got a low kitty, he doesn't mean he's not going to shoot you the second you walk into Big Red. It just means if you run by Big Red, he'll let you run by Big Red. And he's not going to chase you down and, and run his KD up the, uh, mm -hmm. all, the, all the way up. Just think, if they killed everybody they wanted to in every raid, their KDs would be like 30. And yeah. they would get banned. And they mm. and a lot of these guys have been banned and they don't want to get banned mm. again. And they're trying to stay, you know, low. They're 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 trying to fly on like underneath the radar. So, you know, a lot of people misinterpret. I I want people to feel vindicated and be like, this explains so much. I'm better than this game than I think I am. I would have survived more had these cheaters not been there. They've screwed a lot of my raids up. I feel better wa watching this video. But I don't want people to to to, to walk away from this saying. Um, you know, all my deaths are cheaters and, and, you know, they're, they're, they're ruining every single one of my raids. Cause I don't think that's true either. And, and, and I, I, you know, it is, uh, you know, I've even seen people say 60% of the people were playing, you know, Tarkov for cheats. Like, no, it's not that high because all it takes is for one dude in a lobby of 14 to be cheating. And it's, and that, that counts as a cheater raid. Mm -hmm. And, and, and that's, you know, that's not even 10% of the players in that one raid. So, yeah. you know you know, to keep it in, in, into perspective, you know, um, I encountered nobody fly hacking, speed hacking, mm -hmm. or just zapping the whole lobby. Like I've seen videos where guys go up, uh, in the air on like lighthouses, pop, 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 and just shoot everybody in the whole lobby. I'm sure that that does occur. Um, they get banned pretty quick, but it does occur and it's super destructive and it's entertaining and, and people will, will clip that and put it online and, and a bunch of people watch it, but it's not happening that much. Um, and, and and really like uh, even the aimbot stuff like very few guys are really using that headlock aimbot stuff. A lot of them are afraid to get that high headshot percentage, right? So they only use it when they feel like they're fighting another cheater. Which you know I pulled that out of them. You know I told I'm cheating. You know here we go. He's gonna headshot me now. You know he wouldn't have headshot me if he didn't think I was cheating. Probably he'd just try to play it. You know and and use his advantage. So I I just want people to know that like um, yeah they're they're, they're worried about getting banned. It's 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 not like they're not being caught or there's not some 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 heat on. It's just they're winning the battle like today, and I hope maybe not today, maybe tomorrow in in the next week they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna start losing and we're gonna take back some ground, you know. And that's that's my goal. Yeah. Yeah, I was talking about it with my chat as well. People obviously coming in talking about sixty percent and all this stuff, and I was like, look, the sixty percent thing is kind of an, it. It depends on the, how full the raid is, right? It's the extrapolation from the four to five percent figure, really, for per player. And as you said, if a night raid's got three people in it, and a full customs raid's got a twelve or fourteen or whatever the number is, I don't even know anymore. Then that's going to dramatically change the number of people who you think are potentially hacking in that particular raid. But I was like, you know, think about your like average. You know, if you're not a Shift W gamer, think about your average raid on Shoreline. You know, you go in. How many people do you like realistically meet? Especially if you're playing solo, you maybe meet two or three other players in any one individual raid. Like you don't meet most of the most of the lobby most of the time. So if somebody's only got you know a sixty percent chance that there was one person who's hacking in that full lobby, you're not going to even meet them. You know, it's, it's probably like. 25% of raids that you only that you even meet that person and then there might you in the other raids the other 40% there isn't anybody so it's actually quite a small a small chance you run into someone like that and as you said these people are kind of watching watching themselves as well they're probably not using um they're probably not using the uh, the aimbot unless they feel like super threatened for some specific reason and in certain situations ESP doesn't really help you you know if you're both within audio distance of each other and it's you're kind of in a, that sort of back and forth duel 
it's not going to help you that much because you can kind of hear where people are, I mean, especially now that they've rolled out the binaural. Uh, you know, before then it was a bit rough when we were just using the naked Oculus. It's been pretty bad so far this patch, but um, the yeah. latest update has been awesome actually being able to hear front and back again, which is like, you are still making progress. It's good. Um, so yeah, no, we were talking about that, just about the stats. I mean, there have been like a lot of stats bandied about, thrown around here and there. Like there was, there was like a, a, a Rocktip video where he was talking about like there's 10 times more cheaters now or whatever. And he like showed some <laughs> cheating discord where it was like eight people be joining per day or something. And now it's like 80 per day or whatever. And I was like, dude, that's not the same. That's it's like probably, the probably is probably a bunch of people watch my video. They want to go see Maybe, the forum. Yeah. Exactly. I talk about, it is a public discord that you could just click. You don't need to have any invite or anything. So you could just like go there and check it out. I know a bunch if, of people went in there to check it out. Even if it you doesn't mean they're downloading those people are going downloading those cheats. Even if, right, we're talking about, you know, you showed it in yours. It's like player base with like 4,000 people or something going from like 80 to 80 per day. doesn't mean there's a 10 times more cheaters. I mean, it's like, yeah, maybe the rate of change has, has, has occurred. While this video has gone from zero to 1.5 million views, you know, there's a few more people have gone to check this stuff out and then they'll peter off again. Like it's, there's a, there's a lot of like, there's a lot of like random things being sprayed out there right now um, about all this stuff. But I'm um, just like, just circling back around. The only reason why I mentioned about the spreadsheet thing, cause I, I don't really care, honestly, I don't really care if you release the data or not. It's just, I get asked by a lot of people and I think, yeah, it's, I think it's definitely a point. Think, I think a lot of people think that I would care because, and you know, I'd, I'd be interested, of course, but I think it's because you mentioned too. you yeah. mentioned that you had a, a um, some. The only reason why I mentioned it was because you said you had something. You said you had a spreadsheet or something. I um, <laughs> I kept track of what maps I you know I had I had a spreadsheet of the maps that I went into, how many times I went there, which ones were a yes, which ones were a no, and I know you guys are gonna want to see that, but like then people are gonna say, well, okay, you give me that, well, show me which ones, sh show me all the raids that were confirmed in those things, and it just goes down this like, you know, this 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 kind of lost like path where it just turns into well you know well how do i know that uh that that, that spreadsheet's legit yeah because well and the and thing it, is, just, right, it goes back like, to trust me bro you know and it's yeah, like exactly, i don't have exactly. anybody to audit me you know and, exactly. yeah. that's what i was going to say anybody who's saying like you know the trust me bro in chat it's like well, unless you're going to see all the vods and go and look at it yourself the spreadsheet is also of no value because you're still trusting your judgment right. on the judgment calls that you've made in those particular raids in the first place you may as well just trust the final number, unless you are just genuinely interested to see the distribution that you came up with for mm. your data set, which was, that's the only thing. Like, I would have a cursory interest to just have a look through and be like, oh, yeah, this is kind of how it looked. Okay, fine, fair enough. And it, like, it's not like I'd be doing, you know, some kind of hard sure. like, you're going to pull out, you know, the linear regression and like start, you know, mapping stuff onto. There's no way, but it, it would just be nice yeah. to have like a, you know, a, a glance through and just sort of see exactly where that, where that number came from. But like, I'm not wedded to it. I'm not desperate about it. And I know some people are. I know some people are. But ultimately, yeah, unless you're going to go and look at all the VODs, which you're not going to release for, for good reason, um, then it ultimately does come down to trust me, bro. But anyway, the conversation is bigger than that. The conversation is about just everyone knew that this was a problem, apparently, says every streamer ever, and says you know a small number of um, casual players, and then everyone else like had no idea really that it was like this. Again, it, was, you know, it shows, it's what I said right at the start, it shows the face of exactly what this means. How many, like you, you saw a couple of people raging with uh, with aimbot. Most people are just using ESP. Like it gives that sort of like that general sense of what we're looking at, right? And it's, it doesn't matter so much exactly who is doing what, where, what map, you know, it's, it's, it, it's, it's interesting broadly, but that's not really the idea behind the video. So I, I get it. I understand. And it does ultimately come down to trusting you. So, and the thing is, as I said again at the beginning, Based on your track record and your history in the past, I do actually think that you are the most trustworthy source for this so far to make a video of this kind because um, really, it really, it really was a very stupid video to make from a <laughs> creation perspective. I'm I so agree. glad it paid off. I'm so glad it paid off for you. But like I the risks, are just, the risks are just so they were so high. It was so dumb. Like it, it was that alone is enough for me to trust you. Yeah, you, you, like, like you know, Veritas said something. It, one of his criticisms was, um, you know, and and he, and, he, and this is, we were, like we were talking over the phone, you know, and and he and he, and he told me it's like I don't know if anything, you know, one of my criticisms was I don't think any, anything good's going to come from this. And I said, let me tell you, buddy, like I didn't know either when I hit upload. I thought it would. I wouldn't have made the video if I didn't think it could, and I wanted it to. But like, I'm not a time traveler. Like, I don't know. Like, this could just get all get shut down. It could be a big thing about um, intellectual property. This could be an entire debate about that. And it could get just get completely get a swarmed, you know, with that 
stuff going on and BSG silences this person. Oh, he's a cheater. Screw him. You know, like that the entire debate, like debate could be like couldn't be that. So I'm actually pleasantly satisfied that people are don't like my number or they don't like that part of it. No one's debating that um, cheating isn't a problem. And I think everyone internally just kind of goes, yeah, that really does coincide with my experience. And that's mm. that's what I want pe- people, you know, t- to walk away from. Um, I don't think, the, you know, and, and, and here's the thing. And this is how this is why I don't think the data is is important. Nobody needs to recreate this or do something to get the exact numbers. I don't think that would add anything to the conversation at, at, at this point. Um, I, I thought about like the whole argument of should somebody do this in the future to audit to see if things are getting better. And I really think your experience should get better playing the game. And that should be enough to be like things are better. And BSG publishing how many people they're banning and how they're improving their process should be enough to give us the indication that, dude, game just feels better now. Um, the RMT websites can't sell us stuff anymore as of like, you know, recently. You know, they're just taking that away. Like, how else are you going to... So you're, you're going to have to do these carries and play like five or six raids in a row or you're going to have to do like 100 raids with a cheater. I never saw a rare key card, by the way. Um, I had it set to where like it would tell me when... Because I needed to know when stuff was like rare because I wanted to see if someone's running towards it, like straight to it. I'm trying to think what was like the rarest item I found. I saw Lettuce's all the time on Shoreline and, you know, I saw... Um, you know, rare loot in the weirdest spot sometimes, but I never really saw anything super duper duper rare. So the idea that like an arm tier is going to bring somebody in to that many raids to get that red key card to mm. allow that guy to buy all the labs key cards, it's just not going to happen. But by the way, though, those guys that carried me that were in their, like, their low 40s, they had every single labs card, all of them. <laughs> that alone is enough evidence for me to say you arm teed or you cheat. Like, I just don't see how you did it. Like, it's too crazy. You haven't been yeah. playing long enough on your account. There's just not enough raids, man. To even make the money to buy it, to even do the trades, like, you just can't do it. And so, you know, I do think, you know, I'm, I'm you know, this isn't an anti-cheat, um, you know, battle I move, but to remove, you know, and, and this is controversial and, and, and people are gonna have opinions about, you know, the flea market and stuff, but the fact that they can't sell things using the flea market anymore with their websites is huge. And I haven't actually checked in on it to see if those websites are still up or what their messages are now. I'm sure they're, they're having to like pivot and change their business model. And it's, you know, I hope it throws a wrench. And I, and I think the RMT is just something that a cheater can do to get some of their money back. You know, they're spending $40 a week or $50 50 a week. If they find something rare during that week, they can RMT it and kind of make some of their money back. Um, and so you're going to take that away from them, I hope. And are you um, referring specifically to the barter removal? Yeah, yeah. So, so you you can't put something like something up for barter, you know, an, an unequal trade anymore. Mm. Um, and and you know, or, or or even something that's you know, I you know, if you really want some 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 key card, I mean, the barter trade, even no matter how much tax they put on it, it's still a way. It still is in, in, like an advantage to getting that 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 kind of stuff. Um, and so that's gone, you know, and I think that's good. Um, you know, it's the whole quattro ace si- situation where, you know, he traded some radio, uh, signal thing for, um, black or what, like what, like whatever card it was, you know, you're not, you're not gonna be able to do it anymore. So yeah. you, no, like, no, like, no, like, no, like no more false bands, no more real bands related to that. Cause you just can't do it. So that's kind of cool. Um, I'm honestly and, just glad they yeah. did it for the key situation because God, it was so annoying trying to get a quest key and it's only yeah. up for barter. You can't buy I it. Hated that, dude. It's like I'll have the money. <laughs> I'm willing to pay for it. It's right. like I need this key. Mm. You know, I I I should be able to exchange ten loot runs for one key that I need. You know, and, and go make the money and and buy it. You know, or whatever. Right? Yeah, it's just really annoying. <laughs> This is this is America. Oh, this is Russian anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, there's there's one like absolutely hilarious outcome of this, which has been more over the kind of the past couple of days. Which is, I mean, it's it's funny. It's people just kind of like memeing on it almost for for content as well. But you know, it's like now everybody's getting accused. It's just like, well, everyone's just a closet ESP, and then you've got this, this streamers oh, who started yeah. doing shoulder cam, and people who like they got shoulder cam going on, and then you've got like landmark strapping like a GoPro to his head, so that people like sh- you know showing physicals. Oh, I don't have their monitors and whatever. 
Uh, I was gonna show you. So, sorry, I, I messed everything. I'm gonna go back. I was gonna show you. I have a uh, a I have a scene with a shoulder cam. It's this yeah. one right here. Okay. And uh, it's just an old my my Microsoft or C920 or whatever it is, like the old webcam. Mm -hmm. And I have it on behind me while I was playing. I was like, uh, me of all people, I've got to be like audited all the time. So I'm just gonna leave it on. And uh, it's hilarious. Um, I just I just love it. It's funny. It's it's just it's just jokes, you know. There's like the I didn't actually even see anybody doing because I, I don't actually go to Twitch all that often because I'm just so busy. But um, I saw like the, the the post on Twitter where you know landmarks there was you know he's got the <laughs> I think yeah. he has a C920 as well, like strapped to his head. And yeah, strapped to his like, head. He, yeah. He's like playing with it, going on. It's like it's so funny. There was um there was a a tweet from uh because this thing obviously this thing's blown up like crazy, right? So it's absolutely insane. There's a tweet from Shroud which he worded really, really badly. And so it just reads really awkwardly, which is quite funny. He basically said, enough with the forehead webcam streamers. No amount of proof will change these people's minds. Everyone slips up slash gets caught eventually. Keep doing you. <laughs> and he's, he's like, replied to it, just said, holy shit, this was worded, worded poorly. I love it. It's like so funny. It's like, yeah, everyone slips up eventually. You know, it's just, <laughs> everyone's hacking really. Yeah. I, you so know, good. I've heard a lot of people have that take too, of like, dude, I can't imagine like cheating like 24 seven as a streamer for like a long period of time. And just, I, I mean, you're going to make a mistake. I, I, oh, I believe you will. It. You'd have a horrible just life. Stress it's not it. worth it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Someone comes over to like watch you play and you like, you can't do it. Or like, what do you like? It's just, oh man, you go to any kind of tournament or something or just anything, man. It's just lame. And uh, yeah, if I can just do one you know, word of advice. It's like, guys, don't go down the path. It's, it's dumb. It's terrible. Like, you know, you're truly not going to be validated by your wins. Um, and this is why I, I do think most cheaters are, have this like trolly mentality to them. Cause that, I think that's the only thing that you can maintain is you can maintain trolling people essentially. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, and I, and I say, and, and I had a long conversation with Evoker. It is a pseudonym with like one of the guys. Um, so it's not his real name that, you know, I'll say it here, but with Evoker, I, um, I told him you need to go get therapy. I talked to him a little bit about his like family history and his life. And he mm -hmm. told me a little bit. I was like, God, man, that's not normal. He's like, really? I'm like, no, it's not normal. I was like, you need to go talk to somebody. I was like, talk to your brother, like see what his experience is like. You guys need to, you, you need to talk to somebody. And I know this is like a deep conversation, but I, I basically was like, I, I can't help you with this. I, this is not my thing, but I, I think you, you, you do need to. And I think if, if you're wanting to go cheat and it, it becomes this addiction thing and you, you can't not do it, um, you do need some help. <laughs> and uh, you, like you're in a bad place in life. Like you're in, like yeah. you're in a bad place in life. And, it, and it's unfortunate. And, unless you're like a 12 year old who's, got a small brain that hasn't quite developed yet. That's a different thing. Um, but yeah, if, if, if you're an adult, man, by the way, I did run into a lot of squeakers. Oh yeah. And so I, I also removed them from the video because I'm like, dude, if this guy's a minor, like I'm also so glad now because how big the video got, I don't know if it would have, you know, if I'd included a lot of that, but like that would be a challenge too, you know, because I am showing their name. Like I'm not going to like hide the name. So that like that was a challenge because there were quite a few squeakers. <laughs> yeah, they got kind of awkward. <laughs> yeah, it does get kind of awkward. Yeah. Oh boy, what a time! What a time! Absolutely insane. I'm glad that they called it. Okay, so I got ahead of the curve and I watched Lupo do the. He was like, I think one of the first big guys to to do the camera behind him. Oh and yeah, he put it down there, and um, I. When I, when I put mine there, I'm calling it the Lupo cam. Um, cause I don't want people to call it the goat cam. I don't want, I don't want that bad PR. <laughs> it's not my idea. <laughs> it's not my fault. Um, yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's funny. There was some, um, I, I remember part of Pesterly's take on the whole thing, which was, cause he was very positive about it actually pretty early on. Um, he left a comment on your video actually. Um, yeah. And, and I, I pinned his comment really early on as a sign of like respect and also acknowledgement that, yeah, I don't want people to continue to do this. Yeah. I don't necessarily have the tech that you can't or something, but I think, I, I, I think you're going to have a bad time. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I have a bad time. It's, it's one of those things where he said like, Oh, I'm, you know, I'm concerned that other people will try to copycat it or whatever. It's like, from my perspective, if people want to do that, then feel free. I don't really care, but like, yeah, you're probably going to get banned. B, it won't have as much impact. 
Um, and I don't think people are going to like it. I don't think yeah, they're going to like it. I think too. It's just going to look badly on you, right? Like, it's just, I don't think there's, I don't think there's any real, because he was worried about, like, oh, people trying to do it for the views and stuff. It's just like, yeah. I just think it's going to suck for whoever does it. Yeah. And what are you trying to prove? Like, what are you trying to prove at this point? Um, that it's still bad, that it's worse, sli- slightly worse, slightly less bad now. Like, yeah, like, if, like I just maybe, don't know what you're going to, yeah. Maybe I disagree with your take on like in, in like a year or something. Like maybe there's space for somebody to do it if they're absolutely insane and they also, and they want to follow up with it. And they're like uh, in a future time when the conversation has, has come and gone, got better, got worse, got better, got worse again. You know, once we've gone through the full cycle of Tarkov, when's wipe, you know, we wipe again, blah, blah, blah. There were three whites down the line and people are, you know, the conversation's coming back around again. Yeah, maybe there's some validity for somebody to try it, but I mean, it's never going to be the same as the first one. And again, it's probably just going to end badly for you with you just getting banned. Uh, yeah. And that's yeah, it. But yeah. like, I'm not worried about it, right? Because it's too much sure. risk for most people to bother with. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I think the whole thing is, is like, let's say the cheating situation is really bad in a year. Like, um... I'll be quite frank. Like, I don't think I'm going to be, ma- be, ma- be making Tarkov content about any of this. Like, I mean, I, I've lost the battle. I, I did the best I can. I have, I, have, I have some big plans next month. I'm working on like bigger videos less often. I, I, I need to give them time to do something. I'm reasonable. It's like, I can't mm-hmm. like come on harder with them right now. So I have big plans for stuff and I'm going to be really disappointed if the hacking's bad ne- next year. But I don't think anybody's going to need a video to substantiate that. And let's say the hacking's way better in, in a good way. There's less hackers. Okay, we don't. We still don't need the video. Yeah, like I just That's I don't sure. get it, you know. And so I, I think the the hive mind because this video was so big. If if this video was like three hundred k, there's potential there for some follow up or something. But I think so many people have seen it. Like the gaming industry has acknowledged it. It's you know I don't. It, it, it's too big of a video now at this point for you to like feel like you need to go make another one. I just um. So I don't know. I don't, there were some people that were planning on making a similar video that were in the process of it that I, I apparently beat them to it. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, I've heard people talking about doing something like this, um, all the time. I've heard of people doing it before. I've never, but um, we were talking about the feeling of like when the, when the first wiggle happens and you're just kind of like, it's, it's almost kind of like uncovering some kind of secret, you know, you've uncovered, like, you know, you, you suddenly realize the secret handshake that everyone's doing that you never really paid attention to, but now you've seen it. Now you see it everywhere. It's like, it's almost that kind of vibe that like you get from the video itself. So I don't know. I like, I, I do admire your storytelling. And as I said, like, I'm not just saying that because you've come on now. I said it last time when you came on Scav Talk yeah. and you, know, you were mo- most you know, focusing on, on shorts. So When we were like, here last insane. time, when we were here last time, I was thinking about making this video. I, I, I've been thinking about this for a long time, probably for like more than six months. I've been thinking about this video. I never felt like I needed to do it. Um, I thought about it, I thought about it, thought about it. And I was like, no, this is not the right time. And I finally got to a point where like, this is literally is the time that I need to make this video. Cause I was at a boiling point where I was like, I need, like, I feel like there's, I need to do something. Like something needs to freaking change, you know? Mm-hmm. And, um, the storytelling stuff, I, I made a follow up video. And one of the points I made, which got lost on a handful of people, I said, you know, Chinese man stands in front of tank and people are like, uh, okay. And then I showed a picture of the Tiananmen Square photo, which is one of the most famous photos ever taken. And I showed a little clip of the guy like getting in front of the tank. And it's like, that's, that's, it, it does matter seeing it. It does matter how it's the story's told. Mm-hmm. And, um, I, and, and that's kind of the, 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 the point I was trying to make, you know, and, and then I showed like, you know, how war jo- like, like journalists, they need to actually be there. You need to see the tanks. You need to see the troops cross the border. You need to hear the gunfire. You need to see you know, the destruction, you need to see the building collapse when the, when the, when, when the bomb hits it and people, you know, you, you read a a headline, you know, war and whatever, it's like, okay, whatever. And people misinterpret it as me thinking I'm like this heroic, like war person or something. It's Mm -hmm. like, no, that's not, I was just trying to think of the most extreme, like situation where someone really wouldn't want to be there to tell the story, but they have to be there. You know, weather would would be another example. You know, Um, there was that Geraldo Rivera guy who got caught uh, being in front of green screens uh, a long time ago. There was a scandal where he was pretending like he was at the side of like a hurricane or something, but he wasn't really there. And uh, that, that completely discredited his career and like ended his career. Mm. And I think it is really important that um, it is genuine, that it's real and that you actually get to see it. And I think um, it was funny because I was watching Asmongold watch the thing last night and the first wiggle, it kind of didn't, I don't know if he was just thinking. It didn't really hit 
it was the second wiggle that got him. And it was fun watching somebody who mostly plays MMOs. He doesn't play first person shooters really. And he, he plays MMO type games, like, and he plays Elden Ring and those kind of games. And uh, I could tell that, like, you know, the Tarkov people instantly picked up on the first wiggle. He kind of needed a little bit more exposure to it, you know? And so it is funny. I hope to get better at it. I, I know my next video is not going to be as dramatic. I'm not trying to be as shock and awe with it. It's going to be more informative. And I want to do, I, I do want to still story tell. And I think, whoa, boy, do we have an insane, I, I don't have to embellish anything. The story that is going on right now um, with the game and, and the stuff that I know right now, which I wish I could tell you more about. Uh, I think, I think you guys are going to be really excited about it. Um, there's, just information and stuff that I think people just don't know. And it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. And I think it's going to be productive and positive. So, uh, more on that later. <laughs> awesome. awesome. I, th I think we're, I think we're probably like coming to the end. There was, um, there was something that, uh, that we, we talked about before, which was, it was kind of about security and all this kind of thing. So like, correct, correct me if I, if I get it wrong, but you, you kind of wanted to, um, get our get our help to so just like ask sort of survey you know the, the viewers or mm. wherever and i'm not sure exactly how this will come through there will be like if people in people on youtube you write in the comments there if you're on the podcast platforms i guess like maybe go to the youtube and write a comment or something there because it's probably probably easier that way um but basically the, the, the long and the short of it was if was this this is for uh the, the settings would be for you say like the, this, like the TPM and that kind of stuff, you know, and all of those things we were talking about earlier, security settings or whatever. If you could spend like five to 10 minutes to get a various collection of settings together that would kind of like, this is like to, to prevent or help with the hacking issue, right? Um, w would you do that? Would you be willing to do that for your PC to kind of get to, um, I don't know, a, a decent level of like anti-cheat protection? Would you be willing to spend five or 10 minutes of your time configuring whatever it is that you need to do on your PC to do that, if that was available, yes or no. Just um, just a survey that, yeah. uh, that you, you were telling to me about. To, right? to, to give some context, um, there's a big debate around the inconvenience of uh, the anti-cheat, um, you know, allowing the anti-cheat to work properly with Windows. And so if, if you had to spend, like, let's say 10 or 15 minutes, like, let's make it even worse. You you got you, you have to spend 10, 15 minutes. You get you gotta Google some stuff. You gotta go watch a video to figure out how to get to your BIOS motherboard and turn on secure boot or whatever it is. You have to go and do a few things. Uh, but the trade-off is we get console level protection. We get the same protection that Xbox and PlayStation has. And there's virtually nobody who's able to cheat uh, in the way that you are in PC games. Uh, and it's because those settings are on and you can't turn them off. Uh, and you know, the, the anti-cheat can check to make sure those things are on, but it's not right now. So if you had to spend 10, 15 minutes, would you be willing to do that? And, um, I, and, and if no, I want to know why I want to know why. So put that in the comment section. Um, because this is something that, uh, um, inquiry minds want to know, uh, people who work in the field want to know, um, and it's a big, it's something that the developers think is a big roadblock. It's commonly cited. They, they, they don't want um, that in, that inconvenience. Also, I mean, I'd ask it, you what's wh what's the average raid time when you die uh, to a cheater? How long have you spent in raid? I'll just have the have have you think about that as well. Um, <laughs> when you talk about theft of time, <laughs> I mean the only thing that I could see that you know maybe would make some sense is like you would have like you know. <sighs> Let's say BSG did this thing, right? In conjunction with Battle Eye. Well, now, you know, they screwed over X amount of players. How do they get this thing? Well, the first thing they're going to do is complain on Reddit, right? Like, what What the frick's going on? This, you just, I can't play the game. Refund me now. And so then, then they're going to, then it's on BSG to then be like, okay, here's what we did. You have to do this. You know, they got to do like these steps. And then they're going to be like, uh, this is too complicated, blah, blah. You know, you would have to like, if you wanted to do it properly, you'd have to like, very formal document. Step one, you know, shut down your people, you know, it, it, it's very detailed stuff. So it's kind of an extra work thing maybe is kind of where the argument lies, and, I guess. Yeah. And, and what I would argue is like, you know, I don't see a bunch of people saying they're not playing Valorant because they're anti-cheese making them uh, flip on settings that uh, Tarkov doesn't. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of stuff 
uh, for example, like your CPU has a identifier mm -hmm. that cannot be spoofed. Hmm. Um, you need an electron microscope to go in and actually change it and view it and do anything about it. And there's no, it's not, there's not like a serial number or something that can be spoofed. So once you ban somebody with that CPU, um, it's GG for them. They have to buy a new motherboard and, or combo and, and, and a new C, CPU and, 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 and you're making them spend, you know, hundreds of dollars to get around that. And right now that's not being used. And so, uh, but it is for a game like Valorant, you know, um, and I, it's, it's little things like that that are preventing Tarkov. You know, we need to get that number down. And, you know, in, in the battle of this anti-cheat space, like, this is something that the community needs to decide. And, and part of asking this is not saying you have to say yes or no. Like, it's a good data point. Like, people, and, and there is a common misconception that you have to have Windows 11 and not Windows 10, and that's not true. And and, and I'll, I'll talk about that more in future videos, and it's a whole technical thing and i'm actually going to interview people who are smarter than me you know that'll answer all these questions but there is a big misconception that uh this is going to be this huge deal that the community just can't handle and they're not willing to do that and i'm like tarkov players are willing to sit in like a <laughs> like uh, a dead queue for like 15 to 20 minutes and then reload the game and try again and then get like kicked out and try again like that just that one experience is fine but we're not willing to do this that would give security for like everyone in the game, you know, and you do it once and it's done. And I just, I don't know, man. Yeah. I think Tarkov's a different kind of game. This game is too intense. It's too serious. It's too unforgiving. This isn't Minecraft, okay? Like this is Tarkov. And I think we can hold the players, you know, to do a little bit. And I think if there's ever a time to make this change with good PR, be like, move this to the next level, would be now, you know, but... Okay, well, um, I think we're going to wrap up here because we have pushed our time to the limit. I wish we could talk more. Go, maybe we'll in the future once uh, some of these other videos come out. Because I look forward yeah, to, yeah. You know, I feel like yeah. the future is very <laughs> promising. But what, what's going on? So I'm excited. But again, go. Thanks again for coming on, man. It's been uh, a good time having you on. And yeah, anything you'd like to say before we close out? Don't cheat. <laughs> Don't do what don't I did. Cheat. Don't do it. Yeah. Don't do what I did. Uh, <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, don't uh, cheat and um, be nice. Be nice. If people disagree with you, be nice. It's okay that people disagree. Um, treat you know people who have had bad takes that you disagree with. If they change their mind, congratulate them. Don't belittle them. Like mm -hmm. be nice to people. Um, you know. Uh, I, I hope that I've been an example in that I, I, I took, you know, I went, I was very intentional, um, interacting with people that I think disagree with me. And I think it just shows how reasonable people are. Um, there's a lot of good people in this community. We all care about this game and it's all going to be okay. Hopefully. Awesome. <laughs> Dude, it's been a blast. Thank you for coming on and sharing your take. Given this has been such a crazy week. It's, uh, been an honor having you on again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and thanks for having me on. You guys have a great rest of your weekend or uh, rest of your week if, this, if you're watching this on Monday. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night.